Morning, guys. The critic is in the house. Yeah, in the house. We need today. We need a sit down, a settle. We need a drive in. There is no information coming out. I don't understand how this thing gets like this. So this morning I'm having a croissant. Have you ever tried uh, them bake croissants? There's an, an, an uh, uh, let me place them. Land of Canaan, got a bakery called them bake, beautiful. Every time I pass on that, if I go to the airport and the highway, I stop in and buy croissants. Big up to them, give a nice service. They got a little thing, it's a huge bakery there, they are across the country and all the supermarkets. But they got a, a little stand outside of a cell, and the girls them always got a nice attitude. I feel the sun nice like one, these days they'll give me something free. Yeah. <laughs> So, we got something going up on the East Coast. A fire. Let me get the fullness. Men of a staff at the top, down, at the bottom up. Men know not next, this is the name. That way, men know. Download. We can get a better shot now. So, completely destroyed and get some more packs for your so it's any East Coast. Right now, I just try with this croissant. Now my head is still in state. Do you know? How many of you guys know that President Grange is not only a career army officer, he's a historian. And sad to say, history wouldn't he wouldn't be recorded well in history. Sad to see him. David Arthur Granger. If he doesn't do the right thing, 
will not be seen in history. You might even go down in the history books. Yes, sir. David Arthur Granger might come and we don't realize the hungry bellies in the low lives don't come. But history is what guides them. You see coffee there, they hid up there. All of them stood there. And the PNC people and black people in general will be embarrassed to even mention, mention David Arthur Granger's name in the future. They'll play like if it doesn't exist. Like how they play like now the PNC don't exist. There's no PNC. You understand? There's no PNC. If you ask them the PNC, there's some of you that you got AF, AP, AP and you. B? Miguel? 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 Come, Grandpa. Come. You want to do something? Give that Grandpa one kiss? One kiss. Quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grandpa, I love you. You want to help your daddy? You want to care about it for your daddy? All right. Go help your daddy. Go, go, care about it for daddy. Yeah. So, I know what game he playing. Right? But what I tell you is what the end game gonna look like. President Granger, your end game is clear. Right? You will not be favored or go down in history or any hall of fame. There will be so much quotes one American Caribbean diplomat labeled the president as a sanctimonious gangster. Yes, sir, Daniel? History will not be in your favor. And sadly, he is a historian. Imagine a man who's supposed to know more than history. More about history than most of us. Has history become angry with him and turn against him? What are you going to write? What are you going to hide under? Lies and deceit. Hmm? Tell me, what will the PNC hide under? Everybody see. I want you to listen to Gonzalez coming.
I want you to listen to this. I want you to listen to this. And I want them high and hungry bellies and low lives. What that and shit out there? I'm trying to create an artist? No. That because of your selfish ways. Y'all will pay. But y'all, this um, somebody asking as well. Not nature value or whatever it's called. This man ain't going berserk once now. It costs y'all y'all integrity and everything else. Me? They can call me many things. But what they call me is not going to be recorded in history. Because there's no fact. Who's going to write a book about it? Who's going to write a book? That the guy in each critic came and lied on the PNC. Who is going to write that book? Who's going to read it? I'm trying to get this thing for y'all. Let me get what Rudolph Gonzalez said. Prime Minister to St. Vincent and the Grenadines and incoming CARICOM head. I will decipher what are the meanings of what he's saying? For those who would want to play, they do not understand. The questions are the, uh, the phone and WhatsApp. Uh, uh, there has been some recent developments in Guyana as it relates to the election results. And yes. The recount has been on, on going for quite some time. And it has uh, come to light that the PPPC as in fact uh, one overall. You wish to comment on that? Well, session? when I went to Guyana with CARICOM, by the way, I said it then and I said Let me say, I met this gentleman. I met this gentleman. And the CARICOM heads, when I met them, Mia Motley, Rowley, I, I forget the other guy named this guy, the tall red guy, I met them all. I didn't speak too much, I spoke to. Mia Motley, because I find her to be an upstanding woman. And I'm drawn to strong women. You yes, understand? Eh? A leader. Someone who's positive. Someone who has a positive aura. Mia Motley, Barbados Prime Minister. So I spoke to her. I spoke to Rowley. I spoke to the other guy. And me and Gonzalez spoke for a short time. I think me, Gonzalez, and who else spoke together? I think Schumann was there. And we even had a, a little bit of chit chat at washing we had after using the, the washrooms. And when you talk to these banners, these banners in reality, you get the sense that they understand what is going on. You get the sense that when they were here in the CARICOM Secretariat, they knew what was going on. At that time, they knew. Like everybody else who failed to recognize that Mingo tried to commit a fraud. These people knew what was going on. I asked one of the leaders, I said, Do you, and I am new here, you are a former prime minister. Do you understand what is going on in here? The man said, clearly, Mr. Rodriguez, clearly. I want you to listen to this man. 
and hear what he say. Subsequently, and I said it in the presence of all our CARICOM leaders who went on that visit, and also with my friend um, David Granger, the president, and when we met Granger and Barrett, that Barrett. And when you, when you refer to a CARICOM leader, you say, my friend, it doesn't mean anything. We are family here in the CARICOM. Jack, they are together. Huh? Jack. It could generally mean they are friends. Because with them age, they're most likely your friend than me and him. Jack, they also my friend. I said it then. An election stripped of all the regulations here and there. There are three there are three separate, no connected elements to an election. What happens before? The election day, that's process of registration, putting the machinery in place for elections, for free and fair elections. Secondly, what happens on election day? And there have been no complaints about those two processes. Nobody said it's a sham election or that irregularities or such as to undermine the efficacy of the poll. The third question which was outstanding is the counting of the votes. That's why in the first statement that Mia Motley made as Chef Caricom, she said that each vote must be counted. Each vote has to be counted. Well, this is where you had the basis for the recount. And the reason why it's an election and not a selection, you have to count the votes. And you have to count them honestly. No. I am satisfied that CARICOM will not stand by idly and watch the recount which is properly done for the results to be set aside. We expect the CARICOM observer mission to deliver his report and we expect that what is the recount will be honored and the Guyana Election Commission will honor that recount and declare the winner in accordance with this recount. And anybody who then wants to challenge anything after us can go to court. But you have to declare the winner in accordance with the recount. Um, St. Vincent and the Grenadines stands firmly for democracy and reflecting the will of the people. So that will tell you where we are. I don't have to say anything more. I am straight and plain. We, CARICOM is not going to tolerate anybody stealing any election. I know a lot of opposition parties when they win, when they lose, sorry, or anybody who loses, they say, oh, so-and-so thief, so-and-so this. No, it, it's almost a boring repetition. We get the reports, follow the law, and who wins, wins. When you take part in an election, there's always a chance that you may lose, and if you lose, as Sir Louis said, you take your licks like a man. Take your licks like a man. Seven two seven zero five. Now, I don't think Ralph Gonzalez could have gotten more clear, and there's something said and spoke to. Now the first thing is, everybody knows who the winner is. G comes process whereas they have to declare, yes, sir, that you have to go to the chief and show. Every other part of the world, 
has preliminary polls. Suriname has preliminary polls saying who's the winner. Preliminary polls. Suriname had preliminary polls. That hours before the original declaration was made, then there was a little recounting and stuff. So, so Guyana's system got a chief on Joe. You go to the chief. The chief beats his chest. Ha 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 ha. I say, who win? Yeah. It's bullshit. You got numbers that are issued publicly, that are verified by observers. Citizens of a country that are counted, ballots are counted. And everybody knows and see what's going on. Are you telling me? Well, yes, GCOM is the body as per law of Guyana that is to declare who the winner is. But not to say the world don't know who the winner is. The world knows who the winner is. The only body who will know who the winner is is the PNC. Yes, sir. Because they hide their SOPs from themselves. You believe that? PNC hide their SOPs from themselves. So, them even know if they win. Hello. No, brother, I depend on my life. As soon as I don't hear coming to you. Oh. All right, okay, okay, okay. All right. So the police are locking up bus drivers. As a bus driver just come, the police are locking up bus drivers and not wearing a mask. Y'all wear your mask. Wear your mask. I will go down there today. I'm hearing a lot of things in the bus park. I'll go down there today and I will talk to the people. I can't tell you. I can say the police ran. They have to be worked with some law and some rule. Now let me go over for y'all again. For the children who used to be the back of the class. Yes, sir. And the teacher used to tell you, no, don't worry, you will become bright. Just hard work and dedication. No child. Some of y'all, as a result of poor nourishment as a child, will never make it. This fact. Not most of y'all. By far not most. As a result, of some physical disability. A next portion of y'all will not make it. I can't get more clear than that. That is fact. If you have a child. That's suffering from Down syndrome or, or, or something. Well Down syndrome no. I see Down syndrome models. And you have some of them rare now. But there are certain physical disabilities and mental disabilities that obviously don't afford you the opportunity to understand and comprehend. That's what I'm saying. There are things that are likely to hold you back. That's it. Now what happened? You ever hide some money in your house and can't find it back? No joke. You ever hide money in your house and can't find it back? You ever had a problem? You ever hide something for your husband or a husband hides something for your wife but can't find it back? Eh? Don't help me. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. We got black this one. There's a black right away. Call me for wasting my time and I answer. Black right away. Let me tell you your number so you know your situation, your status. 917704967. I don't care if you're a mistake. If you're here, yeah. Once I hear you, you hear me, you're the post Black right away. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember you hide it. I'm telling you with the PNC. You know. The PNC hide the SOPs. And forget where they hide it. And end up now. Don't got nothing for figure out if they win or they lose and it's confusion. Hello, good morning. Talk to me. Um, I ain't too long join you. I ain't too long join you. Um, I ain't always cause fun. One hand, we get free. The man, let's see you last. Like fun, kite your radio. I will reach to that just now. This yeah. morning is a long haul. We might end up till. Alright, brother, brother. Let's talk. See. I think there's a saying. Those who the gods dislike and want to destroy, or those who the gods want to destroy, they force run them mad. Right? So let me tell you this. The PNC <laughs> is like your grandmother. Your 98-year-old grandmother. Been a housewife for all your life. Talk a certain name, never get it right. She know for make a good met him. Know for make a cook up. Cook up. Yes, sir. She know for great pan a sit down great. She got one man story. But she ain't Facebook savvy. Know nothing about the lab. Yes, sir. And when she hiding things, she loses her memory. Open the back door now. Push it up. I think it's getting a lot. Right? Go no, straight up. Your grandmother loses her memory. Throw you too much of salt in the pot. Sometimes you throw your salt in the pot. You can't remember at the throw the salt. And she ain't only ain't throw salt in the pot or throw too much salt in the pot. She forget that you could this and no. Yes, yeah, sir. Your grandmother ain't only fudge up the path. Yeah, she forget when she realize. Oh God. Big confusion. I ain't know. Will I have to put you salt? All you got for do is taste. Take a little taste. You don't know if it got too much of salt, if it ain't got no salt. Big confusion here. I ain't never put salt in the pot. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. We got black the next one here. Hello, good yeah, what happened? What happened? You're deaf. Cut off the video. Cut off the video! How much people you want to see? You want to see yourself and me at the same time? Good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, Patek. Good morning. <laughs> I gotta keep one of these people number. And then you call back when they're in the home. And you start there with the wife. And then they can see the joke. Yeah, you call back when they're at the home. Yeah, sir. I try to get out to your husband, they nice. They criticize you. Yeah. Till you start a conversation. Yeah, sir. And you go there with the wife. It's then they can realize, stop calling the man, stop calling the man, bother the man. I don't block you. Yeah, don't block you too. 9294-379. Hello, good morning. Morning. Talk to my brother. Alright, how am I going to? The guy does Hello. Yeah. Yeah. You're calling and you know who you're calling? No, here I got a virus on my phone that um take away on the contact. So this is what I try It's your father. Your father name guy needs critic.
You get a virus when you phone take a contact. Let your mother do an HIV test. Because the virus might be more pun, more than the phone. You understand? Yeah, I get it. Watch, watch, I step on these guys, guys. Yeah, I get trip more. They die. You get a virus when you phone. You want a pen to go do an HIV test. <laughs> There's a bit of a critic. Don't worry with those people. Don't let them upset you. Critic, no. Don't let them. It's like that, you That's half of the fun for me. Yeah. You don't get more. You can get a better job, Debbie. Yeah. You can get a better job. <laughs> hey, this morning, you get virus for the food. Yes, eh? Everybody else get diabetes, cholesterol, he <laughs> get virus for the food. Yes, eh? <laughs> I, I hope it's not coronavirus. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you know, we gotta get a little laugh in between, right? Somebody say, yeah, I think my virus. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Lord. <laughs> Somebody, Annie Ram Roop, telling me he had a good. I think like you, you, what do I have with you, child? What do I have? You ever see anybody going on the road and say, see a man rich and say, you are rich? Or see a man poor and say, you are poor? How you could see the truth and tell the man you had a good? Why would you have to tell a man who had a good that he had a good? This was really right. You had good girl? You had can good? You just walking about the place. And, oh, this is a coffee cup. Oh, this is a spray bottle. Oh, that is a flat screen TV. Why would you have to say? But the truth is, it's evident. Only somebody mad can decipher the madness of the PNC. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, brother. That car that, um, that car that you got out just now, I'm from Bobby's, right? And I have the same problem with my phone. Like you are, sir. Oi, I talk a serious business. I look like I got problem with you. With what going on with your iPhone? I talk a serious business. You call the wrong time. And obviously the wrong person. I understand, but don't I understand, don't care. I don't care. You're wasting my time just like how you call me for waste me time to explain for you. What do you want to tell you? Oh, brother, well, you know, I used to be into the cell phone business. I could take some time off of my business. Yeah, brother, talk to me. Well, there's a likelihood that they could look for... That's why I'm saying there's a likelihood that they could get a set of retards from New York with a sit around and jerk off one another and they might put him in as an interim government. You hear? Them by sit down. And them they're wrong and I, I make laugh and, and I make trouble. There's a New York crew, they just sit down and I make trouble. Yeah, my partner call for explain. How the man with the phone probably get a virus. He phone get coronavirus. So what me must do is, is must stop and say, oh sir, I'm sorry about that. And I used to repair cell phones. And yes, and then No. Get your mother tested. That's what I say. Story done. Now, hear what I'm saying, plain and simple, and I want to decipher what um, Mr. Ralph Gonzalez, Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 
has um, said. I want to start with the question that was asked. Right? I want to start with the questions. Hello? Talk to me, brother. No, sir. The result on on there, there is a there is a report. The report is being written up by the chief elections officer, Mr. Keith Lowenfield, and it will be presented to um, the the yes, the commissioners, and then they will deliberate on it for seventy two hours. After which they will make a declaration. No, um, I don't think Lewin Field has presented his report as yet today. I think he will be presenting his. So this is what it. It is supposed to be Tuesday. It is supposed to be Tuesday. He will be present. He's supposed to represent his report on Saturday, and by Tuesday we should have. Um, GCOM declaring a winner. Our brother. Uh, now, first thing I want you to listen to is the question that was being asked of um, of Ralph Gonzalez. The question that was being asked of Rans Ralph Gonzalez, and before I go into it, one of my followers called me this morning and it gets annoying when people are calling me about stupid things. Somebody said that they, whatever they do, black me. If you listen to stupid people, you will hear stupid things. The only thing that come out of here, even in my insults, they're factual. <laughs> yes, I don't make up nothing. Even in my insults, I'm factual. Paul. Yeah. So if you listen to stupid people that tell you stupid things, yeah, don't call me and tell me what people say about me. I am the Guyanese critic. The largest thing on social media, singly, on social media presently in Guyana. It might not be so forever, but that is what it is now. Yes, yeah, sir. Simple as though. No qualms about it. Now here, please, I'll critic somebody, get big, then by get big number. Now here, I'm telling you. If a man is going to go berserk, or a girl is going to go berserk and take out her boobs, buddy, she can get 12,000, 15,000 people looking six to somebody skin the body for you. Yes, eh? Guyanese into bodyism, <laughs> bearism and schism, they will look at it. We are talking about consistently being on point. Every day. Yes, sir. Some people like watching them. Why is that the number for the first day? And tomorrow is a sad story. One thing and no story. If there's importance. If there's importance. Like something happened with the PNC. PNC got some lie. New lie they get. Their numbers go up. Their people and their affiliates in numbers go up. Because everybody wants to hear. And then they're daunted. And their spirit fall. But your spirit don't fall when you come to the guy in his retreat. You know what Your spirit don't fall when you come to the guy initially. Because it's always real and on point. I don't play. I don't know how to play. Here was the problem. I'm a little retarded. <laughs> I got me retarded. Because I don't know how to play. If I was a little smarter, I might have figured out ways and means how to play the ass with y'all. If I was as smart as Sherrod Duncan and Christopher Jones. You understand? I don't know how to mislead. No, I'm not so smart. Straight up, I'm accepting. I am not as bright as those guys. I can't mislead people. 
I start good, good, good. Why have you tell us? And I got to tell you like it is. Now, here was the problem. I'm a freak of nature. This that you're seeing is my personality. I wasn't trained in anything. I don't have a degree in communication. Hello, good morning. You ask him or you tell him or you just want to waste my time. I asking you, I just asking you for the going on there for get the factual things of the house. But you don't know what I mean for the case. Mingo case, yes, is today. And it will be via Skype. So Mingo doesn't have to go to the court. Mingo yeah. could go to court from the beaches that he's on wherever he's on. Well, we will have to depend, we will have to now depend on whoever's representing the opposition or the lawyers when they come out what they tell us. But I will make sure I update you people accordingly. Okay, good. Just Thank here. you so much. Cool. Bye. Yeah. Right? So, me ain't got a degree in communication. You understand? Me and her fancy by all me know is woman know. That one flat screen TV. I'm putting a flat screen TV. A Rudolph Gonzalez. Ralph Gonzalez. St. Vincent and Grenadine Prime Minister. That yeah. Facebook icon. That yeah. The life icon. He been power radio station. And PNC game is up. Me I don't know how to put on fancy for you. Are you are see the same thing with me I see. Are we gonna agree on that? That we are see the same thing or you are see John B. Will you see John B? No, me never see one John B. Me put on my shit to drive a Z1. Me never see one John B. No, me never see none yet. If you are see John B, me never see John B. Me go talk to Val 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 but me never seen on yet. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Cook. How are you doing this morning, sir? Not too well when y'all can ask me how we're doing. I just want y'all to get to the point. Y'all are around too long for to know the process. All right. All right. All right. Um, the reason I called uh, uh, Crotator, um, I'm living in New York, but over the crisis, I had to run in Guyana. I'm just asking my question to you. I think, uh, do we think, uh, do you think we will have like, a good result for next week and maybe end of the month they can come back home to my country? My brother, we can only hope for the best. It has been said by many leaders. Mia Motley specifically said they're dark forces. Um, Rudolf Gonza uh, Ralph Gonzalez said in this, in this video here, in an interview on a radio station, that... Uh, CARICOM will not see a stealing of election. I, I can't remember the words you use. So, um, mischief is afoot. I'm hoping that it would be so and we will resolve this and you will be able to come back to the motherland. You understand? But, but nothing great and good comes easy. You know, last night, yesterday, I was frustrated at the end I sit down and I'm thinking, I have many options, brother. I come from a business background. And I think and I get frustrated. I say, well, I fudge this thing. But sometimes I get so tired and so exhausted, it gets to me. And it's got to take a rest. And I wake up and I look at it and I said, "My, it is important that I go out there and explain to the people the facts. Because while you are there, while you are there, and you're thinking about getting home to look after your business and so on. There are people, you know what I was doing last night, my brother? Last night, between the hours of 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock, I was driving through communities on the west coast of Demerara, sharing out hampers. You understand? So although... It seems that everything is all right. There is so much that needs to be done. So much that is going on be behind the scenes. Yes, eh? 
So Bill Halloran, that's why I never really pay attention to the Bill Halloran. Oh God, we want to come home and this. You have been afforded a unique opportunity. Some people are outside and want to come home. They consider they got trapped. But some people are in Georgetown and don't have a bus fare to go up the East Coast or on the East Coast and don't have a bus fare to come down. You understand? So, we all have different... What we got to do is hope for the best. What we have to do... And you know what is worry about? You have people. Everybody call. You call. Everybody call. Name for me, bro. And you go... I would go to your Facebook post. And you have not expressed your sentiment to the guy. He's your freaking for talk. But you want me for talk for you. Sure. Facts, you're not take a minute and tell me write four paragraphs as I'm here. I'm dissatisfied with the way things are going. I hope sometime in the near future earliest that we could have resolve and I can come back to my motherland and the brother, me and my brothers and sisters could be in love again. I am not seeing that. I'm gonna talk about any people post up the dog and shit, the wife problem. I got a cross in front of them from me. Post up your wife. How the girl there. Yes, yeah, sir. Real auntie my ways. He got to tell you about the auntie my ways. Gary. You yeah, understand? From Annandale, Kobe Park, and they tell you. Don't move on. Make a child with the woman. Move on. Got a nigga woman. A next old woman he there with now. Yes, yeah, sir. But he's still harassing the one. That now he is going to anger and she got to go on for take care of his child. You never know what she do with the child or she can take out anger on the child. I, I just see the post. I see the post. And I'm fed up telling the boy. Only I did. I got the boy. He tell me something. And, and every time I got these friends wrong me and then talk, then I just remember why I don't got them wrong me. Yes, sir. You know, you know I admire most of you, particularly when the night it was in the jungle up Labora Road, that dark pitch night. I was just looking. Your, kitchen, your, your signal was off and on and you just keep moving. Not for your sake, for for all of us in Guyana, the security and the virus to make sure you're dead in the night and the rain and the bus trail. I was looking if I started to end it. Brother, I have. I'm not a team player, I can tell you. I'm not a team player. I don't work well um, with teams. I've never been a team player. I don't work well. Everything that I, I set up an office and they got. Two computers that right behind this camera right now. They're supposed to got two staff and that. And I can't get in. If I them people sit down there, they gave me pominoes. I gotta get office by myself. Yes, yeah, sir. Because I just get pominoes fast with anything or anybody. Me and care what you're doing for me. Once you present a threat or you're bothering me, I gotta do something about it. I want to get rid of you. Yes, yeah, sir. No. Yesterday morning, I enjoy you so hundred but You know, you got me laugh. I got to work at the 56th floor in Manhattan. I just mm. can't be laugh nonstop. You know, when he was cracking out yesterday morning, I have you, I make, you make my day, man. You like stupidness. That's exactly <laughs> wrong. It's stupidness you like. Hey, we talk, bro. Thank you, Stone. God bless you, man. Keep a good work, man. Sip, man. I try my best. Yeah, I'm not a team player by any, any sorts. But I am a deliverer. Yes, I am. When I say I go do something, I break an arm and a leg to deliver. Yes, yeah, sir. I take any challenge. Once I say I'm going to do it, I do it. I don't back down. Period. I don't care what. I break an arm and a leg doing it. Nothing stops me from doing what I said I'll get done. Hello, good morning. I don't care what. Good morning, Kotek. Stop listening to the video in the background. Why do I have to continually talk to adults like your children? Huh? Man, listen to me. It is worrying when y'all come up with these things. And if I call you a little auntie, man, you're not going to like it. Why would you call this morning? Let me put up your numbers if people want to have homosexual sex, they could call you. All right, brother, don't worry. Put it up your number. So the number, if you want to have homosexual sex, you could call this number here. 917-655-1457. If you're interested in sex with boys, this is the number you can call in, in New York. We, that's our um, link in New York. 
Um, 917-655-1457. Yeah, I'll put it down there. Put it down there so people can get it. 917-655-1457. If you're into those kind of things, gay sex and so on, you don't have to be worried. You could call that guy. He knows um, about all those kind of things. Right? Call him and get straight to the point. You know, you could send, you could WhatsApp him at the pic and those kind of things. You get straight to the point. You don't have to go around and be from the bush. He is straight, gay, right? And he happy and you know it, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know it, and you're calling critic to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. Call out your number again. So the number, if you're looking for gay love in America, um, is 917-655-1457. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. a young guy study, you just take out the dick pic and send it to the WhatsApp number. Addy, I send it. Yes, sir. He's gay to fudge. Right? Right now, he getting all them tingling feelings. Wait, 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 Screw your whole life up. I would go and set up a whole sex site. I put in a you number whole day, people call it. I try to burrow into your back like there was a mole. <laughs> you hear what I tell you? If you come making a Tima joke, you just got a, a little heightened female hormone. We would turn you to Atima right here. Don't call me a make joke. Don't get confused with me laugh for fun. Yes, sir. I would add your number to one of them sex sites. Right? BB, why you have to do that? BB, you Ramgolam? Ramdial, BB, Ramdial, whatever your name, why you have to do that? You better keep your car and sit down at the back of the class. I pull up your profile picture and show you why you have to do that. Okay, you're gonna see me later down in the day. I was just busy, but the recounting done, and so now you're gonna see me. You're gonna see me. How are you? I just watching your live. I just want to big up. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. It's okay. Yeah, so I'm telling you, I stop listening to stupidness and following stupid people. It can get in your head, it confuses you. Now, there are certain things you could look at. News. Because the news, although they could be misleading, they don't depress the stupidness. If you're looking at people's Facebook Live, people talking things, pork and, 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 and bench cap and all them, it's madness attacking. You let their followers follow them. You don't go and jump in and follow them. You decide one thing what you're going to do. Yes, and focus on your thing. You don't need to confuse yourself. You will frustrate yourself. Because it's very difficult to decipher the different levels of bullshit. Yes, I got brown bullshit, black bullshit, white bullshit. is bullshit. And when you catch yourself, you end up with shit all over your skin. Can't figure it out. Yes, eh? So let me go. Straight into what is going on with this thing? I don't understand why. 
why does my thing continuously get small? Why does this happen? So, um, I'm done with Rudolf Gonzalez. Come, Mr. Gonzalez. Let's. The, the questions oh. are the uh, the phone and WhatsApp. Uh, uh, there has been some recent developments in Guyana as it relates to the election results. No. Yes. I want to start with the question. I'll wait for quite some time. Uh, I want to start the phone and WhatsApp, uh, uh, with the question that was asked of Mr. Gonzalez. Carlos Oliver, I'm just talking about people and following stupid people. Carlos Oliver, Hillman, a black here just for being stupid. So Carlos Oliver, Hillman, they me program and tell him, see me live and tell him, Rubai say black me. So we like a black he for his stupidity. Because Rubai obviously ain't black me. But Hillman now get black. <laughs> yes, and you go see. Because if you understand what black means, you know go see what black means. Hello? Yeah. Right? So I want you to listen to the question and what was told to Mr. Ralph Gonzalez before he started to speak. That's what we can start with. We can decipher that for us. Uh, there has been some recent developments in Guyana as it relates to the election results. And yes. The recount has been on, on with for quite some time. And it has uh, come to light that the PPPC has in fact uh, won overall. Do you wish to comment on that? It has come to light that the PPPC has won overall. Now you listen to the... This is a question. And you have to listen to the question for us to understand what Mr. Gonzalez is answering. This gentleman here is the Prime Minister for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So people get confused in what he's saying and people jump on the bandwagon and, and share or anything. But they ain't paying attention to what he's answering to. Because firstly he was told that the PPPC it is found that the PPPC, the election, the PPPC has won the election. Listen to it again. ...in Guyana as it relates to the election results. And yes. The recount has been on, on with for quite some time. And it has uh, come to light that the PPPC has in fact uh, won overall. You wish to come... Now this man is the Prime Minister for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And he's also the incoming head of CARICOM. He's also, he has played an integral role in arranging. He was here when we had the election situation. He was here in Guyana. I met him. I met him. I met Mia Motley. I met Keith Rowley. And a few other heads of states. And former heads of states. Caribbean heads of states. Right? So he has play, been playing an integral role. Now CARICOM has observers that are overseeing are, had overseen the recount that oversaw the election. So we will start with the question and then we will go into his answer. Because first one has to understand, people are hearing on this, why people get confused with news. When you're listening to what the person say, you could be misled if you did not understand what the question was and you take it upon your own to interpret what the answer means you understand me you all get me or you guys follow me? if you were not present when the question was asked or you do not understand what hence the answer refers to you can be misled. Right? So this was the question and then we go into the answer. Uh, uh, there has been some recent developments in Guyana as it relates to the election results. Yes. The recount has been on, on for quite some time 
and it has uh, come to light that the PPPC has in fact uh, won overall. Do you wish to comment on that? Well, when I went to Guyana with CARICOM, I said it then and I said it subsequently. Again, Mr. Gonzalez has gone straight in because he's aware of what's going on. Has gone straight in to lay the foundation as to how CARICOM and himself as a CARICOM leader and head of state sees it and understands it. He has not disputed because one of the questions, one of the, in the question, there's an insinuation, a suggestion. Because the, 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 the radio announcer there would have heard it or might have heard from the news. He wasn't here in Guyana. I don't know who the radio announcer is. So in saying that the PPP won, he's using the preliminary reports on numbers that were tabulated that show the PPP has a 33 seat majority. So Mr. Gonzalez did not dispute that. He went straight into laying the foundation as to how we will get to that. He said it in the presence of all our CARICOM leaders who went on that visit and also with my friend um, David Granger, the president, and when we met Granger and Barrett, Dag, Barrett Jack Deer together, and Jack Deer is also my friend, I said it then. An election stripped of all and I will decipher as I go along a question was asked and Ralph Gonzalez in his capacity as a CARICOM member head of state went straight into what the process is and respecting the process of the recon that CARICOM has witnessed. No dispute as to who won. He didn't say, well, we mean all. And he knows that it's important for GCOM to make the declaration. But he also knows GCOM can't make no other declaration than the recount supports. The regulations here and there. There are three. There are three separate, no connected elements to an election. What happens before the election day? That's process of registration, putting the machinery in place for elections, for free and fair elections. Secondly, what happens on election day? And. There have been no complaints about those two processes. Nobody said it's a sham election or that irregularities or such that's to undermine the efficacy of the poll. The third question which is outstanding is the counting of the votes. And this is Guyana's elections he's talking about. Because he said nobody spoke to the efficacy of the elections. Everybody was satisfied. Yes, and the other election, the other recount that bring a set of dissatisfaction. When people see a thing going in their direction, the PNC specifically. That's why the first statement that Mia Motley made as Chef Caricom, she said that each vote must be counted. Each vote has to be counted. Well, this is where you had the basis for the recount. And the reason why it's an election and not a selection, you have to count the votes. And you have to count them honestly. Now, I am satisfied that CARICOM will not stand by idly and watch the recount which is properly done for the results to be set aside.
Now I want you to listen to me. People say it's for both sides. When he came to the fact that now the recount that was done correctly to be set aside. The recount that was done correctly to be set aside. It's clear it states. Now, every recount is done correctly. And based on that recount in the declarations of 10 regions, the tabulation and declaration of 10 regions, it shows that the tripartite joinder, of which consists the Liberty and Justice Party, a new and united Guyana, and the new movement, attained enough votes to get one seat. The AP and UAFC incumbent government attained enough votes and when won the region for and attained enough votes to give them 31 seats in parliament. And the opposition PPP, through the tabulation and declaration of 10 regions, have attained enough votes to gain 33 seats. Now, there's only one thing can come out of this. People are talking about kind of thing. Yesterday, I might have been something and it hurt me whole life. But there's only one thing can come out of this. Yes, my brother. Yes, critics. The only way you can discredit a vote is by claiming the vote was illegally cast. So that's the campaign PNC is on right now. The vote is, was, was, the votes counted, they know that, they know the amount. They Please go over vote. your claim again. Give me that again. The only way you can what? The only way you can discredit a vote. Uh, the only way you can uh, 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 cast doubt on a vote is to say that, you know, it was cast illegally. My brother, so that's what you get it mixed up. First thing to discredit is a factual thing. And you cannot initiate fact by suggesting fiction. Or allegation. You can make an allegation and fact comes out of it. So the vote cannot be discredited. You have to produce evidence to discredit. You and I are seeing that, but 200 and something thousand people, thanks to guys like um, Sharon Duncan and Eric Boyd, um, Richard Boyd, they are not seeing it that way. Again, again, yeah. Yeah. you might be wrong. I want to think. Uh -huh. Let me tell you about Region 4 statistics. I would want to think out of the hundred odd thousand voters in region four alone that voted for um AP and UFC a mere twenty five percent of them are being misled or could be misled it would be embarrassing to believe the multitudes of AP and UAFC supporters who so happen to be for the most part black could be misled so easily. You would have seen people in their numbers if they believed what the PNC was propagating. I'm, a, I, I'm afraid the rhetoric that these guys are preaching on the, uh, 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 the, the media it may soon get there. It means nothing. My brother, again, again, you are suggesting that the people are stupid. The people are not stupid. And I'm telling you, in past times, an individual only had to say, fire, more fire, and it's very confusing in the tongue. You have had individuals that use media to perpetrate attacks on people, try to incite race, try to create confusion. And have not yet gotten one response. Yesterday they tried to hijack. Day before yesterday. 
They tried to hijack a Black Lives Matter movement that was being formed. There was supposed to be a peaceful march. Today, they tried to hijack it. And it is a biker crew. And I will read the statement just now as to what the biker crew said. They asked for justice for Jude Bentley, who a PNC. Yes, I'm going to read it out. The people let me see a statement. Yes, eh? They jump up on the bandwagon. Black Lives Matter. They're looking to associate with themselves with anything that would create confusion. They went to Linden yesterday to try to whip up support. But I will give you an audio just now of a Lindener. You understand? I will give you an audio of a Lindener and what they think. My brother, uh, a man, a share of video. Uh, now, if you listen to the comments, uh, and you would find out that this is the is the same hungry bellies and low lives go around talking the same thing every day and disputing uh, the same thing. Now, I want I want to show you this thing. I will go to this and show you something. I shared it. I heard the first part. It was long and I don't listen to people's videos. So I didn't listen to the whole thing. But I was certain that the guy would not have... Me and the guy is not no friend neither. I know the guy. I buy honey from him. And I was certain that he would have not said anything that would have brought disrepute to me so, or my platform. I want you to listen to this. I thought I might make a video about this whole elections fiasco, uh, seeing as I haven't really, haven't really had much time to focus on elections. Um, I've been dealing with bees, and I've been kind of fed up with the political process in game. Um, I thought given that the count is completely... Hold on a minute, listen, listen. I, I could weigh in a little bit on uh, some thoughts on this uh, elections process, and whether or not, you know, the APNU is dead, gone. No more. Finito. Um, given the con... I'm going to tell you something. That there is a black brother who is educated. I must say. Unfortunately, um, you know, I can say I come up through them things. I, I have educated myself. But came up, had good schooling and everything else. And he's a mainly a beekeeper. He's a guy who's called to go and catch your bees and all those kind of things. Remove your bees from your yard. He sells honey. This is a man who has stood on his own. I've never heard him speak anything about politics. But more and more people are coming out. And if you go and look at the comments under his video, the attacks, a man with no brain. You understand? Now a man who takes care of himself and his family and is not on the street with his hands out. How does he become a no-brainer? How does he become a dunce? You understand? And here are the people who talk in, the hungry bellies. What the years the government what the government do for we? This man yeah. instead of the government do he spoke to what he saw. And yeah. this is the sentiment of the people, the majority of people who supported this administration. My brother, hear what I tell you. There is no other way. The problem is that even persons who want to be seen are shooting yeah. down the middle. There is no middle. There is only fact and fiction. Yes, sir? There's no middle. Yeah. If today, if today you stand for democracy, you yeah. cannot be seen as anything else 
than a PPP. No, not a house day. A PPP. You understand? The thing is, that is because the thing that we stand against label us that way. You understand? The people who we stand with do not see us that way. So when we are talk about how we are being seen, you mean you are being seen by PNC. Because you can't be mean how we are being seen by each other because we don't look at each other. We all are looking up to the skies. We are all looking up to the horizon. And what can happen better in the future? You understand? I'm glad that uh, people are not taking these rhetoric uh, and swear by it. You know, no, but brother, the problem I'm having with you, and you're regurgitating yeah. the same bullshit, I am saying mm -hmm. people are intelligent. Why are you saying you're glad people are not taking it? Are you helping these retards with their process? Mm -hmm. You don't understand. You're so educated, but you don't understand what you're doing. It's better you don't talk. It is not happening. It will not happen. And what are you talking about? Okay, let's get to Ralph Gonzalez. Now, Ralph Gonzalez, he is a veteran politician. Right? Mm. This, yeah, this man here, he knows all the politicians, ex-politician, ex-president. Uh, and you know he said? Jack Davis is fan too, right? So, I don't want people to start saying that, you know, um, he, you know, the comments they made to uh, uh, Biden also got a brand. Um, uh, Brother, a you know what I think? Tell me something. Yeah. What's your professional yeah. background? I don't have no major professional background. What, what about your educational what? background? I'm sorry. What about your educational background? You do sec high primary school and secondary school? Uh, yes, buddy. Here was me problem. Yeah. Most people like yourself, uh -huh. in the best interest of uh -huh. helping, cause damage. Well, not really. I am telling you, it is a matter of fact. That is why I'm here. Because y'all, no, 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 no. I am telling you, you cause more damage than help. Most of the time, persons because here. Now you point out something yeah. that doesn't exist as yet, but could possibly exist. But if you didn't point it out, would anybody else have noticed it? And you would say, likely is not for we. Well, hence you should wait and see. Because you have not come up with a solution to alleviate the problem. But you have identified that there's a pitching star in the sky. And hence, people might start making wishes. You understand? Based on the track record of these guys, you have to preempt them. It's my brother, my brother, that is not preempt. Mm. You're exposing your flanks. Preempt is to suggest something, a little inkling of something, that then you hear that when you come up upon the rock, I don't tell you blue rocks does blow up. So when you watch a blue rock, you say like move away from them. You understand? In you saying, here, this is me thing. When it comes to psychology and understand how people think and how they can move, yeah. I don't think y'all could go across the social media platform and see anybody got a better understanding of breaking down what people are saying and interpreting things from different perspectives. No question about that. But why I'm pointing it out many times, I'm getting this. And I'm, I'm in arguments constantly like yesterday. I'm out to be something. I'm you all head south. I said, What? This is possible? Because I did not know so much power lie with the chairperson. Yes, sir. I know she got a lot of power. But I start becoming worrying now with this thing, this game with the plane, and trying to dispute the credibility of the election. But nobody will, will take it. Yes, sir. The thing is, yeah. fact, not by a long shot, 33 days, they spread propaganda. And there has been no movement. There was a protest of seven people 
25 people get together, they are there under the tent, and they're doing a little moving, moving, and the police disperse them. So now to suggest that some movement is a 35 days, you ever see text and laugh of um right black people? So something is wrong to suggest. Guyanese are on a different level because in suggesting that, I am asking myself, is it derogatory? Are you being sarcastic? You understand? Because in suggesting that the multitudes would listen to those retards is also suggesting that they're stupid people and the masses are stupid. But by a long shot, they are not stupid. You go down the road every day and the perpetuate so much of lies that right now, although we are what is used to be called um, um, election confusion, business is as usual on the road. Remember, normally we cussing out one and we said this racial thing. It is only on social media that it still exists in the, in the threads of those who perpetuate division. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am telling you here today, the people who thrive to create unrest and division for their own benefit. Look at Rickford Burke. Have you ever heard about Rickford Burke before? Yeah, Rickford Burke would want to be seen as a wealthy black man wherever he is. His photograph is one of a Range Rover. He doesn't have a house to match that Range Rover. He doesn't have a mansion to match that Range Rover. But he has a Range Rover. You could get a Range Rover on, 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 on a lease in America. That's easy to get. You understand? You could take um, your credit card, pull out all the way got, do the down payment, and, and get a, a car note. Right? Now a wealth, seemingly wealthy black man dresses well and try to walk the talk and talk the walk. You understand? But the people who he seems interested in misleading have to ask themselves, have you ever seen this man on his way up? And why have we seen more of him in Guyana helping the young blacks and the blacks in need? Why didn't we see him in his struggle before? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Them by can mislead a blind man <laughs> because he deaf. They can't mislead disabled people. Yeah. You hear what I tell you? Yeah. They can't even mislead people who blind and deaf because the people get the vibes. Yeah. The shit they dip on. Yeah, yeah I tell you, when you see people like Lincoln Lewis, failed, people like David Hines, yeah. all we know yeah. is that they've been talking all their life. Show me. Yeah. Show me what you did for your people. Because here, laugh, here was the next thing. I like me, I got help all Guyanese. I can't say it's Indian or black. Yes, I got help everybody, so I got big headache. Uh -huh. Them, they, got, they only eat there for black people. So all they got to do is help black people. They ain't got no people for help. And I want to know why you didn't find a small group. You ain't got a soup kitchen. They have a man have a bakery in Buxton. Create jobs for blacks. That is something to talk about. You understand? That is something to talk about. There's so many. Look at this man now. He mightn't be the biggest philanthropist, but he has taken care of himself as a black man and has more right to talk than any one of them black leaders who come and attack. Because he's a citizen, he doesn't have a criminal record, and now he has come out and stand up and shown that he's a man. You understand? He could be honest and he could be realistic about what is going on in our society. You hear what I tell you? Them banner with the suit. When you're getting your Range Rover, you see what the life is about? Their thing is not about 
Look at our pro when free look at everybody else. You ever see anybody with the Range Rover for the profile photo? Them banners is hustlers! Got some Caribbean community thing and everybody answering them. They are nobody. They are insignificant. You understand? Know what people get catch up with? A black man with a Range Rover and a suit. Go more. Where is your mansion? Where are your followers? Why we don't get a photograph with you in your movement? Why we don't we see you down in the trenches? You understand? You're just falling in where you could get a photo up. Where you come from now? Tell me, Mr. Suit and Tie and Range Rover, that don't have the mansion to match? Where your money come from? Yes, yeah, sir. They got problems and issues they got to deal with. Them could come and talk to me. Last night, I died in the trenches. Myself and Glenn Lal sharing out 500 hampers, one truckload boys. Everybody assisting. You understand? They got things that's going on. They got a businessman, Japax Terry. She wrote 2,000 hampers recently. Yeah, I know. I saw I recently went to St. Cotmart's Mission Day before yesterday. The community got assistance one time. And they got a list of assistance from Schumann. Schumann gave them some money that he got it up. Show us real leadership before you come to mislead us. You understand? I don't want to hear nothing from them men. Lincoln Lewis. Who is Lincoln Lewis? Do you know Lincoln Lewis was the man helping to fight Russell? Um, the people that have been with the people that protest inside Aurora. You understand? It's a failed fight. The people that have gone away, 300 people out of jobs. It is a failed fight. They have never won anything for their people. I am not saying. I am not saying that the PPP will come and champion the black fight. Don't yeah. misunderstand me. Yeah. I am saying these men who come and portray themselves as black, as black leaders are not black leaders. They are parasites that leech on to blacks and have been sucking them all their lives. Show me your track record. Show me what you have done. Show me what struggle you have been a part of. You understand? Show me the times that you haven't conveniently presented yourself, but willfully have. Show me the times. Bring people who can talk for you, black leaders, and say yes. I know that man, the glass that I drop out. Some never lady. Well, you know, my drop for one. And them not the home. And one next door the home. Said so me give you the bag for giddy people. How I gonna know? I tell the lady, I say you better drop the effing bag there and come back tomorrow and make your life. Well, it's dark, we ain't dark, right? So we just driving through the street and blowing, watching them houses, the condition of you, you know who little run down and yes, and we helping. So right away now, I don't put it on the lady, I say hey. You better get him to like F him back tomorrow or you're going to know when I come back here. Hey, lady, critic, critic is you in the dark. In the dark, how I trip out the lonely lady don't know it's critic though. Yes, eh? There are people that will be going home on the West Coast. They must have been by the family because they ain't got enough food for eat for themselves. But they will be going home to find a bag of ration. You understand? That is what leadership is about. Glenn Lal took it upon himself to run his paper in the day. I said, why you don't want to do this? Thing? Why we didn't in the night? They're running all about the place. He said, ban the sun hat, me neighbor the sun. Yes, sir. I'll be there night, night. Do your work. And then went on to the time where you're supposed to be resting. You understand? One body called me and said, critic, you ain't going live. I said, no. The people who we are giving to the things they know. Then you know I bring question of like, where you do this over the night, wah wah wah. Some of them have to cuss. Awa awa, I say something about the gate. Cause 
We just move in, right? Just drop by the gate, yeah, and I there behind you, vehicle blow in. Hey, something there by your gate, collect there, collect there. Why not come out? She knows, she wants to know as well. If you see, she with your sharp pants, fat, fat, pum, pum. You understand? Me said, me got, here she the bag here. We said, me got come and fetch in the bag inside. The men coming back out of the house, so why you for no? If you so far, she hides up the bag and go inside. You understand? There are people out there. You got all them different. You make people different. Not to vex with the people. But, I am saying, these leaders who emerge now and talking and trying to steer things. You understand? I try to get Granger for do this and Granger for do that. Granger has to do the right thing. He tried a thing. It did not work. And he still has the opportunity to come out unscathed. President Arthur Granger, don't follow the hungry bellies and the low lives. Because history will not speak about the parasites that misled you. It will speak about the fallen leader that you became as a result of being misled. History will not talk about Harmon's manipulation and, and what Ripford Burke said. And Sherrod Duncan and they will go into history like dead flesh off of our skins. Dead skin off of our body. They become the dust in the house. And hence will be swept out. Swept out. You understand? There ain't nobody. There never was nobody. You understand? Take care. Be tough. Safe, brother. What you do? Tell me what you have done. First, you have to come. Alec, me. Everywhere you go. Somebody's watch you. Say, critic. Me like who is talking about this government. Cause up. But hey, we like you. You got Berry. I mm. just deaf for we. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I called to find out about this combination. Do you have a child to write the test? Yes, I do have a child. You should go to the Ministry of Education Facebook page. You have a uh -huh. Facebook account? Well, you go to their page and you look for whatever updates they have there. Uh, okay, because can't you make understand? Not because I can't tell you understand. I don't know what you understand and I don't understand. Go to the page and get a better understanding, right? Okay, okay then. Thank, thank you. you very much. That's your problem. Current way you understand. If you call me, obviously you don't understand. Go to the page and edify yourself. And have a proper understanding. I don't care, can't you understand? You obviously don't understand. That's why you're calling me. Now listen to this, young man. Controversy surrounding the election. So, I thought I'd make a few points and try and give the perspective of somebody that's, you know, I don't really have a part. I want you to go and watch this boy's video. I want you to go and watch this boy's video. Watch this boy's video. Get an understanding. I didn't watch it out. But I can tell you from what I know of the man, from what I see of the man, if he has a grievance that he's willing to talk about the PVP, or a grievance that you willing to talk about me and Alto, I would share it on my page. Because I believe he is fair to himself and likely he will be fair to us all. Certain things I don't check. If Timothy Jonas says something, when certain people say something, I share it. I don't have the time to go through everything. This, this video is, is, is 25, 26 minutes. I don't have the time to, for all that. You understand? Know I just share some. And I can't afford to be sharing things on my page that I don't know what's going to happen. But if he is wanting to say something about me that will not be pleasant to me, I would want to think he's speaking the truth. Because I'm not Mr. Perfect. I'm the Guyanese critic. I try my best to be to a certain standard. But I am not. I'm far from perfect. I know not of which one of you are perfect. 
We all have our imperfections. That is why we're here. Some of us more than some. Some of us are so imperfect, we are deformed, mentally demented. Yes. Hello, good morning. Morning, Christian. Talk to me, brother. What are you doing here, bye? Somehow, some of you get the opinion I'm the guy who's critic. I'm not Mr. Nice Guy. I'm not Trevor Noah. I'm not Oprah Winfrey. I'm the Guyanese critic. The realest thing coming out of Guyana. I come hard. I come fast. I come direct. So for those of you who have opinions about my attitude, there are three things you can do. Sit at the back of the class, shut the fudging head up, shut, shut the fudge up, or come to front and represent it. Because here, hear what I ask myself. A person called, you gotta listen. The man, you gotta listen to you. You understand? Know you gotta listen to him. You know why you gotta listen to him? What he said there just now, that is not the way to speak to people. This is the honest truth. How it used to be. When I start talking nice to you guys, I will start screwing your wives at the same time. And I can start eyeing up your daughters. And I will start Claiming to do things and not do it. And rob y'all. Like your politician and your pastor doing. I am not Mr. Nice Guy. I have no patience. I have no cool. And there's a reason for that. Me farming no culty. Is get to the point And fast. Yes I? If I wanted. I could have been here and spoke nicely and, and you turned on your radio, turned on the video and did it. Yes, sir. I don't got no little bike on my back. I don't admire little girls. I don't do hanky panky. Yes, sir. I am the Guyanese critic. I am not what you think I should be. Because you sit down there watching me. And enjoying yourself in amazement. Here what I want you to do. Just like I asked the black ladies them for do. Tell me, what have you ever done for Guyanese? Do you take your time off? And do you want to champion the fight for uh, domestically abused women? Do you want to have you ever championed the fight for domestically abused women? Banner was called and talked to think Lila. Abuse the wife. Have you ever abused your wife? No, guy, he's gotta learn and they gotta learn fast. We ain't got the whole time. We ain't got 25 generations, we get wiped out. We population ain't growing. Every time some people grow up and they get smarter, they're heading out to the country, they're migrating. We get in a serious brain drain. So when you call, and I tell you to do something, you move to that. You don't tell me what you think. Because I know you in thinking straight. I don't have the time, my brother, who called it. I don't have the time, the patience, energy, or anything. Not an iota in me to give to you to waste. 
Your total defense premium package, security expire in 30 days. I gotta buy one 29 days only. Alright. That was a bad time. You ever tell you? Nothing. I will not spare one ounce of my energy to act nice to counter Guyanese stupidity. Not one ounce. You understand? Hear how it works here. If you don't like how it's going, bye. Ta-ta now. You understand? All right. So let's go. Somebody said, he's a real crybaby. Does not make your wife leffy? Jillian Lewis. I might be, yeah. I could tell you was a real dumbass for lose the woman and by his mother. I can also tell you I'm living my best life yet. <laughs> yeah. No disrespect, but I'm the happiest ever. Jillian, you know a lot about me. I cry like a baby when the woman left me. Boy. When the woman left me, indeed, I cry like a baby. Yeah. No lie, no lie, Jillian talking. I cry like a baby. I thought she was, you know, she was my whole life. I've been proven wrong now. The different things in my life has made life far more interesting for me, so. So, Jillian, I don't know. I, please bring Daddy big cup of water. Yeah. Yes, yes. All true Jillian is saying. You know something? Speaking the truth and setting you free. No, no, Jillian is not lying. She's not lying about me being upset and I felt I loved the dust that woman walked on. And at that time, I might not have known what love meant. I was just in denial. Thanks, son. Love you. Paul, yeah. let's see what Michael do with the car. Are you the car like a train for starting to the statue? Yeah. No, 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 I'm not crying now. This is in the past. Let's walk under the bridge. I'm going to walk under the bridge. Yeah. No, just to touch on different things as people bring it up. And Jillian is correct. Um... I was upset and I thought my life had ended because I created, and this is to help men who wives will leave them or whatever, right? Um, talking about Chow Po. Oh, well, I had the same experience. So if she's talking about Chow Po, I had the same experience. Okay, respect, respect. She ain't talking about me. But I had the same experience and I gotta be honest about it. I gotta be honest. Because I think um, the guys, guys can learn from this. I thought my wife at that time was I built my world around her. What I did, I, I built my world around her. I didn't build the world for her. Right? And that is where the problem maybe came. Hello, good morning. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like what you do with that. People have the good work. Yeah. 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 You ever go? Like you ever go up on the beach, like and you're looking for shells, and you find a one of a kind of shell? <laughs> it's like a freak of nature. It's a freak of nature. Here, I constantly be looking for people, right? Like myself. I can't find them. I. I'm hoping we can find them. 
Where? If you're saying people who speak out, it's a different story. Watch, watch a guy next man he just come on board speaking out. But if you're saying people like me, I is a unique creature. You understand? Unique individual. I would go good with you right now. And you go down the wrong road. And me, you go up the road. Get wrong. Total wrong. Don't care what. Only yesterday. You gave me a new car and you promised me a house the next day. Today you gave me a new car. Tomorrow you do something, but the next day you're supposed to wait for you give me a new house. We getting wrong, bro. Me getting the house. I is not no easy character. You understand? Here what I'm with me. I can't help myself. You understand? I can't help myself and you know how much times? Because I, of my attitude, it was blocked. Like the person says, black your prosperity. Now, it's because people want no problem with me. But before, I could remember life was always a struggle. Because people calculate, you know, you who got the, the, the willingness to help him. You understand? Yeah, yeah. We talk, bro. Thanks. Uh -huh. um, but now uh, Mingo is missing mm. and now Harmon now is not in the light I want to let you go back to America what do you think? no no Harmon is very much here they got to fight to the end oh. they, are, they are considering an exit strategy there's a lot of things going on behind the scene there have been a number of military meetings and all kind of thing but the thing is they're not they're not Guyanese are decent people by, by majority. There are no lunatics in the army. You'd have to be a lunatic to go along with a plan to dethrone democracy in Guyana. You understand? Right. The world is watching, and the funny thing is, it never said happen, and then the world come in. The world has played an integral role in what is going on. Now here with the disadvantage there. With. Them now and they game. They disputing. The elections. Or the results. And if they had. The, the character sent here. They would have been able to see and witness all these reports and so. And be able to verify too. The white man does not believe. Because the first election. Results. As a result of SOPs by the small parties and SOPs sampled by European Union and all the observers was one number. The recount is the same number. The only thing different is Mingo's numbers. So the only rigging, and that was witnessed by the international community, is what the PNC attempted to do with Mingo. So they have no support now to suggest that... Um, there was some confusion. Because the people are not there. They didn't witness any confusion. The people know the first election where we check the numbers. We started there see Mingo try to attempt to rig the election. We know what the end result was. Yeah, I shy away from it. We don't recount. The recount come to the result where we didn't know first when we were there witnessing. How you could come in a different story now. Even if you want to hire a lobbying firm to persuade them that man this dead voters and migrant voters story is true. <laughs> you know? Another, another thing, I, I hear that, I hear that like, um, the offices, they, they already started to destroy documents and papers and different stuff. You hear about that? No, no, nothing that I can confirm. And I can tell you safely, okay. um, I haven't heard about anything. There is rumors and here we gotta do it. Let me tell you something. Even with family members, when you get misinformation from people one time, two time, three time, cease to listen to them. It could lead to your destruction, okay. even close people. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're cheering your wife. Because they thrive on misinformation. Hey, why? Remember, we are in constant contact. And you bring one story, and I tell your man is misinformation. And you bring a next story, and I tell you it's misinformation. You bring a third story you tell me you continue. That means you that is your modus operandi to misinform. By nature, that is what you do. 
and those people are dangerous. Yes, sir. Well, another thing they they're talking about <laughs> race, but Indian is uh, is people who now the the Indian vote for the PP, but a lot of black people who vote for the PP also. Yes, brother. A lot of black people. Because No, but I can't understand. Yes. I went through it and I know the situation. I know I went through a struggle a lot. And this is what we want to go back. No, we can never happen. Here was the next thing. You realize they have lost miserably. Mentally, they have lost themselves. We in the many lecture. They have lost themselves when they go now to move to the race camp. Imagine presenting things as fact that cannot mature and is not accepted by people to go back. You literally could hear these people saying, PPP never again. Then what are you suggesting? You went into an election. Why then did you go? Imagine we prescribe, we all prescribed a process, an election. Why then did you campaign? What you should have done right. is just hang around, don't waste the money. And when the election come, do exactly what you do now. Rig the election. Why did you campaign hard? Why did you attack the PVP? Why did the PVP attack you? It is about a fight of the gladiators. And the best come out, the best and smartest come out triumphant. <coughs> yes, eh? Now then they can't happen no more. Roger. They end up starting fighting fair. And when they realize they lost, they decide now to cheat. But it doesn't work like that. Exactly. What you do, you go back to the drawing board and you look and you would realize how did you lose in a boxing fight? Well, your speed and agility. You understand? You could not have lasted for 10 rounds and you train to compete with that your shortcomings right. you don't just decide oh I can use some steroids and I can put poison in the man drink yes yeah, sir it doesn't work like that that is to show that they're not true politicians because what a loser should step down come back about five days again here what is the next they thing here, what is the next thing? Anytime. Anytime. There will be no other possibility for the PNC to reinvent itself. The PNC, now masked as the APNU, has been uncovered. If the if David Arthur Granger does not accept, if Claret Singh does not present the factual winners of the March the second election, the PNC, because they are going to come out by the hooks of the crooks. The white man is not going to give them any money. They can't get the aisle money. And X and done tie in. And the pressure would be unbearable if they do not know what pressure is like and they did not see what confusion is like on the last five years they will see because there is nobody left anymore to support them there's nobody is interested in them as a government the business community who was hopeful for this government they're no longer hopeful they're done with them they are right off in the private sector, in the manufacturing community, they are done. So, when they take over power by force, what will they be running? Who will they manage? When do you think private investors are coming to Guyana? Who come into Guyana? That obviously there will be uncertainty. Certainty of uncertainty. 
You understand? Yeah. So I am asking myself if they have not seen that just in this short period of time the damage that they've created. Now, that man there that is in the video, you gotta go and watch the video, expressing the sentiments of more than 50% of their support base. That man is not a PVP, and as much as he said, he would like to see he's been down the middle. I can tell you he voted. And I knew who he voted for. He didn't vote for the PPP. You understand? So he's speaking genuinely. He's being honest. And that by far is the sentiment of most Guyanese. Now I'm asking David Arthur Granger. You do not have, and it is clear, you could do a survey and see where the poll have you. You understand? You right. do not have the support of your support base. You do not have the support of the diplomatic community. The world will not respect Guyana. You do not have the support of your cousins, CARICOM. You will not have the support of the opposition. Who feel cheated? Well then, Mr. Granger, how say you manage? America, you ain't got their support. And one of their sanctions is going to make sure, because when we start crying and say, America, please don't give our oil money to those people. We don't agree to it. We do not agree to their, our oil money going to the government. How will they get money? When the business people start being reserved, the cash we done there in a negative of $92 billion, only $10 billion in the election campaign month of March, February um, to March. What is going on? I am asking, what are they fighting to hold on to? Now, they've passed the point of return for themselves. They are done. What will save them is people like myself, when a new government is installed, and yourself, we have to start talking up to ensure there's constitutional reform and inclusive governance. I will, Michael, Mickey, you might. Yeah, brother. Michael, what do you care? See. So you've been driving this morning? I went washing the car. Oh, in the engine as well? Yeah, oh, alright, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got nothing to do. Sit down just so don't have nothing to do. Go wash the car. Don't have a pressure washer, you know. It's never say you got a pressure washer. Shy water in the engine, water in the engine distributor. Yes, sir. Just like the PNC. <laughs> ain't got nothing to do. I'm going to make trouble and scrub the whole life. And he ain't got a pressure washer. He's shy. He's like, pass, pass. You take a bowl and shy it like he's a pressure washer. Yes, sir. No, the car can't stand. You believe it easy, no? It's not the PNC alone. It's got to deal with it. It's not the PNC alone. I hear the name of Dillow. And I said, you got to cast that. God help me with this chair. Wake up good this morning. I can lick it if I drink. Cook something now. Read a book now. <laughs> you watch car. Rain a fall. How many got old ram? You got careful because you guys are rusty spot. You get cut, you got to get tetanus injection. <laughs> what is wrong with these big things? Your wife. I'm going to take a bank or something. I'm going to take a bank or something. You watch Kiara. No, you can't ask that. Yes, sir. This, this is going to deal with it. You know? This is the reality. Let it be as he. Let it try shit again. It's self in shit. Now you're going to start me the goal. No, I can't have to use Kiara. You watch him. Think you're going to do good. 
acting like you're doing good and fudge up something. <laughs> I sit down here hear Pasha, Pasha. I was like, yo, the car. And, and I don't know if you do it. You can't eat it. You understand? Father, help me. Give me faith. That's how it is, children. I can't make this. The boy is right there. I make up this thing. Why do you think? I don't know if you say this stuff and I ask Paul. I think I have a Paul. It's because I say, Pasha, Pasha. Well, the little boy come for the bucket. Right? The little boy come with the bucket. The baby. So he says, he got washed. And we don't have a pressure washer. He's like, I'm going to have to shine in you. Don't listen to me. Them carnies. You ever see how you just look after old people? You know, you get a little wet cloth or you dry wipe them and everything. Them me can't care why she pressure washer. I'm going to hold in the car. Hello? Yeah, brother, talk to me. Here it is. Mm -hmm. I want to know something. How, how, um, constitution reform will help the situation in this country? This country had a problem where when the PPP was in power, everybody accused them of peeping. When the PSP was in power, everybody accused them of peeping. Mm -hmm. We knew all of them peeping, and then peeping basically through contracts and contracts. So I want to know how inclusive government and constitution reform will do you know, do you know what the Constitution is? Do you have an understanding of what a Constitution is? No, that's why I asked you. Okay, firstly, a Constitution is the law in a land that is not even second to God's law. You understand what I tell you? Right, let me simplify it for you. Although religion plays such an important role in our lives my and is, is our guider and the Bible says so much and the Ten Commandments says so much, the Constitution of Guyana has not said infidelity is illegal. So hence you could go and screw a few people's wives and you would not get jailed for that. You understand? So even the Bible, the Bible is what you person if you want to decide to follow it. The Constitution is the law of the land, not even second to God's law. The Quran, the Bhagavad Gita, none of them don't trump the Constitution. Although the Constitution has taken consideration into them. The holy books, right? How does the constitution play a role in inclusive governance and guiding us? First thing is, what have we learned? GCOM and its gerrymandering and Mingo's actions come directly from the misinterpretation of the constitution. So, Firstly, we have to ensure that the Constitution is more robust. It can't be misinterpreted. You understand? The Constitution now would have to say clearly, when there is a no confidence motion, Granger and PNC Cabal can't come and feel that they should get more time or they should do or they should do. The Constitution obviously has to be more clear now in a revisiting of the Constitution. It has to be more robust. Because of vagety, vagety, let me simplify for you because I get into things. Let me, let me slow down, let me slow down. Because of these fancy terms, them big by talk and so, right? People have been able to manipulate the laws in their favor. Now, with a robust constitution. Alright, how does inclusive governance work? 
Now, there are things that when a PPP or a PNC is in power, they make a decision and it is in the best interest of themselves, but it affects the country. Right? Like, let me give you some example. A PPP government making um, um, decisions on education. It affects Indian blacks and Marinian all children. Right? What about if the blacks want to have an input on how their children should be educated? Constitutional reform will take that, take that into consideration. And when certain things have to be tabled in parliament, tabled, tabled in parliament where you care as, or you want to make adjustments or you want to get things go through parliament, right? This is inclusive governance we're talking about. You have all stakeholders to have to play a role. Like, in certain cases, if Jack Dio wanted a third term, it could have only come as a result of a referendum. You know what's a referendum? Yes. The people voting overwhelmingly for something. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. They were asking. They were asking. Asking what? Asking for things. There's nothing simple about what you're asking. The bottom line is, the bottom line is that how you ask, how you did, how you would have five. My brother, if the constitution is more robust as to how the government is to carry out their task, right? Like, for instance, you would have to follow the procurement board to the letter. Certain things, the constitution now, like, you know, GCOM is an autonomous body. GCOM, that is why GCOM is considered to be in cahoots with the PNC. You understand? The GCOM is in cahoots with the PNC because the PNC does not have the power to tell GCOM what to do. GCOM is a powerful body by itself. An independent body. Nobody can control it. Claret Singh is presently more powerful than the president at this time we speak. Right now. So why then GCOM does what it does? No. Yeah. Let, me, let me ask you something. So you're, saying, you're saying in a constitution reform, we, we can make it in a way now with all them things we were going on with GCOM, all of that can be eradicated. Everything. How the six races are treated, everything. Human rights. How so Guyanese address sexuality. You understand? But I'm going to tell you about when I see corruption uh, with the contract and contract and remind you right now. My brother, when we have constitutional reform, you don't have to call me back when you have the evidence. We will move to the courts and go after them and get our money. Okay. You will have cases here if it's set up right. And the power, you give the people more power. People can go after things. There will be committees that contractors are brought before. You see Facebook had to go before the select committees and all these kind of things and answer. Yes, sir. Eh? Different bodies are given sweeping powers to ensure that democracy rules. That is what constitutional reform is. is huge. It will change a lot of things. How the police force acts. The police force and the DPP outside the district, uh, the, the, the prosecutor, the district prosecutor could go and lock up anybody, they lock up any police, anybody. They don't have to ask, okay, when they build a case against you, they go, who you believe they're going after Trump? There were bodies that went after Trump. The FBI is an independent body, goes after anybody, investigates anybody. Not like how Soku got in independent and got political infusion. You understand? Soku is supposed to be an autonomous body that goes after any politician. They don't care who you is. 
they make a case against you and lock you and your kids and everything up if you can't show how you get these things. Yes, eh? Yeah. Somebody said this one said this thing two times. She said this thing two times. Let me not answer. Right? So, constitutional reform is important and inclusive governance is important. Inclusive governance will help in ensuring that our black brothers and Indian brothers at different times, depends on who is in power, does not feel left out. That is what inclusive governance is about. And our Amerindian brothers. Everybody plays a role. You understand? Now, what I don't have, I can tell you the purpose we are touting these things. What I don't have is a formula as to how inclusive governance will look. I am in no way, shape, or form the, the person to ask that question. People like Ralph Ram Koran, who was Speaker of the House and, and, and a, a very good lawyer. People like Timothy Jonas could sit down and come up with models as to what inclusive governance looks like. Should we have inclusive governance at this time? Well, God to help me. If I would go and sit down and try to have inclusive government suggesting as a democracy with a man like David Granger, they got to reinvent, reinvent themselves and come back. You understand? Yeah. I wouldn't sit down. That's madness. That is madness. It's like you're going to say, well, I am up now. I'm a police officer and thing, and I want... This man to be a power when you watch as a junkie, you take a thief man and say, give him a police uniform and he know I, I deputize him. <laughs> That's that. You go and see the biggest drugs man, criminal and thief man and deputize him. So inclusive governance is important. But with who? Those parties have to reinvent themselves. Yes, sir. They have to restructure their constitution too. Because if you watch at the PNC and what the PNC is now, the PNC really and truly is the parties for thugs and thieves. They ain't nothing else. And they can't explain nothing else to me. Why could two is adjust the constitution and put him in jail? I can't adjust the constitution for we sit down, sit down and talk. For real? If we can't sit down and talk, no. When we got referee from America, referee from Canada, referee from England. You understand? If we got all the referees, hey, and we can't get it right, how constitutional reform working with a set of thieves and thugs? So it is needed. Because the people need, all the people need representation in parliament all the time. No matter which government is in power. But I can tell you, me, I don't know what the PPP would do, I ain't the politician. I could just talk from the people's side. I ain't getting tied up with no PNC. And nobody to the likeness of Joseph Harmon, Valde Lawrence, yes, and David Granger. They got to reinvent themselves. They got to hand over the party to the young people. Yeah. You hear what I tell you? Not me. Me, my hear nothing but no inclusive governance for them. If they think what they could do is set the pace for a younger generation to move into inclusive government or somebody else. And there are people, there are van, um, like, like, um, what is his name? Amna Ali. When the people don't do what they do, you going to sit down and talk with them? Who said who in the right senses do you know? I don't trust them. I can't trust them. Yes, eh? No, I'm not saying there's a last cause. Because there are a lot of people. Linden got a lot of black leaders. Yes, eh? Enough people. PNC people I know are upstanding. Good young leaders coming up. Them we could sit down and talk to. I will not sit down and talk to them thieves and thugs. They have become a party for thieves and thugs. If you look at it, if you look at the people who come out, look at the people who come out and protest for the other parties, look at the, the um, guardians of democracy movement, look at how people have been carrying themselves all the time. And look at any little thing with the people. It's how cuss out and stinking. People pissing all over the place. Shitting all over the place and all that thing. You understand? You try to tell me. And it's not to say it is not with, it is with their blessing. Because when you hear how they inside their supporters. It's for the shit and piss. You understand? 
It's not going to attack anything. Nothing organized with a placard saying we are dissatisfied with this and this and that. I jump up and holler. If them is not a party for thieves and thugs will change me name. I would apologize if they show me how there's not a thief in thugging party. Yes, because I never see nothing else out of them. So we talk, bro. Now I want to move on to something else and I want to read for you I want to read for you some documents Paul please bring that a charger a charger for this phone phone going down I want to read to you the representation of the People's Act and what the presiding officer shall do, right? Yeah, they got a dirty... No, no, you're going to bring the plug up for me, man. You're going to bring a plug for that. Uh. They got a dirty, low-life, hungry, belly, itation, they running. How can I go and support that? Inclusive governance with them teeth, man. Who? Sharon Duncan is, is them leaders? I'm the mad. Me, you know, if, if the PVP figure out how to work with them, they stop. I tell you about me. I, that's my personal opinion, right? I tell you about me. I can't get nothing for the way them people. I would laugh and gaff at them banner. Now, like, like, you know where they put themselves? Because they can, they, can, they can still fight. They, they, they are career politicians. Right? But you imagine I, you know, going and fight against the PVP for keep them in check. Right? I'm going to fight against the And a Malik Sher don't come and say, yes! The, the. I can't support. I said, Sher, you're a liar, banner, buddy. You never talk about the truth yet. I can't say. You got to get other people for coming. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Talk to me, brother. Let him man at the back there. What cost send all he cost, but he talk. Give you the phone. Who that? Yeah. Somebody say talk here something. What? I'm in the shower, man. By myself, pretty. Oh shit, bye. I insinuated like in any shower with a man. <laughs> talk to me, talk to me. Is that um the guy you put in your blast in PPP and see a lot? I'm not saying you're wrong for that, but what's up? I mean PPP ain't got no clean slate, proper history and shit like that. I know. So, I, I feel like the, 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 like the fucking, the but do not forget, the problem is one. The problem is not about today's problem and what we're discussing. It's not about the shortcoming of politicians in general. It's the glaring, thiefing, vulgar behavior of one specific party. Now I'm saying, we are looking and dissecting where they are, where they're going, and where they will be. Yes, sir? Eh? Fact. Fact. PPP and PNC dotty. Okay. Street fighters are not preachers. So two street fighters. Come. Both of them are part-time bouncers. Both of them are former drug addicts. Right? The thing is that, all right, we, mm. we, we, we outside, uh, I'm outside in front of like, uh, I live up, you know, I don't live in TT, right? Mm. I'm guy and I, I'm, I'm supporting, you know what I'm saying? I, I do my part, just like you said, it's a special day part, and support different kind of ways, you understand? Yeah. And it's just like, we out here again, I'm, I'm, I'm confused because, yes, I, I'm confused, man. Like, what, what's going on is very confusing. What is, where are we heading as a country? Where? Would you think, would you want to think? that your confusion might be a little bit 
because of your unwillingness to accept what you've seen right in front of your eyes, do you think? Let me go into the PPP era. PPP, PPP, right? Mm -hmm. Now, PNC, PNC took over, right? And I agree with you. The way they handle stuff is like, oh, poor people, you know, take your time and do this, take your time and do that. No, was that the right way? I don't know. Because they never, they never did. To me, they have been cleaning up a lot of crap that happened before. And yes. Right? Like, people, like, right, like people of the country, most of them don't understand that, right? That when, when you come into a let me put this to you the PNC came and they had things to clean up just like when the PPP came in in 1992 they had things to clean up do you think Aaron I accept I accept. The PPP, hey, what I'm telling you? The PPP is way worse than the PNC. Let's, let's do a scenario. There was an election on March the 2nd. Do you think the PNC lost? Yes. Right. How, much that, how much of that is true? Have you, well again, that depends on you. Have you witnessed one instance outside of the allegations of proof of anybody voting as a migrant or anybody voting for a dead person? No, have you? It's just the media. Roger that. Now I go over to one thing. Have you been following the recount? Well, the recount has tabulated the SOR's statement of recounts and they come up with the same or similar numbers to what was being claimed originally by the small parties in the PPP. And the only inconsistency or provable fraud that was committed was Mingo putting in 15,000 more ghost voters that didn't exist. Uh, every party Mingo is from? Well, Mingo is from... Mingo is the returning officer working with GCOM. We just, just label it as a PNC because who else than a party member would risk their job and life? Why would he be labeled as a PNC? Is it... Is it is he, did he, did, 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 was those votes put in to put some muscles on, P, on, on, on PNC? Um, yes. Exactly. That's a or that's the that fact. is a fact. Remember, when you're putting in the votes, it has to go to somebody. It went to AP and new AFC. Oh, and it was proven it came from Mingo. It is uh, now proven with the completion of the recount. Because when Mingo did his recount, not his recount, when Mingo did his count and his declaration, the PNC won. Well, Apno AFC won. Not to confuse you. Right? So now, there was a recount. And the winnings came out and showed that they did not exist. Got you. You understand? And it, right away, they got into the lose. Got you. All right. Got you, Chris. Now, hear what I'm saying. Having that. I follow as much as possible. Uh-huh. Brother, brother, misinformation is flying around here like butterflies. It's supposed to be. Right? I 
I got information from him. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Everybody tell him. Anytime, there's nothing. You listen to what I tell you? Carefully. There is nothing factual that Rickford Burke will ever say in one sentence. If Rickford Burke talked for three hours, Rickford Burke talking, he brought attacking. Mark, let's get people put the program. These people are di here, here, here. When you want to know substance, ask these black leaders or who would want to know present themselves as black leaders. Where were you for the last five years? Outside of that, let us not do things or worry with what Rickford Burke has done for Guyanese. What Rickford Burke has done for black Guyanese in America. When you see you possess leadership qualities, you see when you're a leader, political leader or otherwise, you are turning over your services of some sort to the people. Right? And the recommendations you get is not based on what you only tell the people. It's how they benefit from what you tell them. And what you do for them. You understand? A lot of leaders only talk. They don't go and feed people. They don't build houses and all these kind of things. You understand? But influential people, such as Rickford Burke, or who would want to be seen as influential? Because Lick, Ritford Burke is about a suit and a Range Rover that is missing the mansion. You understand? So, you got to ask yourself with these people. What? Who they call? You know some of this kind of thing. I call people. I call people right down here and say, yo, help out this man with this. Let me do that. Let me do that. People call me, call the police. Are you sure you there's the right thing you're doing, buddy? You understand? Constantly outside of going on the ground, not already feeding what us do with the people and hands on things on the ground. You gotta ask yourself what these leaders have done, and only then that is the qualification for being a leader. Not the degree in communication, not the degrees and these things that they're putting forward, the degrees and the educational level of leaders are. Things that assist them in, in doing good service to you. You understand? Look at, like, Rick, how Rickford Burke attacked to Irfan Ali. Irfan Ali share 100,000 masks. You understand? You are people, you got Rickford Burke talking about government. What can I even share to the old people? We going and playing and nothing. The CDC ain't operating no more. These are people who are building a hotel where will never have no use for its intended purpose. Billions of dollars and poor people hungry and now as we speak while they fight for power and try to convince and lie to the people. You understand what I'm saying? Gotcha. They have no merit. When you look at it, look at here again. Irfan Ali might not have that love in his heart, but he's smart enough to know. Like women get into men through the belly and the crutch, how to get to the people, not just talking to people. Go and share a mask, get him a mask, get in the head. You understand? It is human nature. So these black fancy pants leaders. Driving Range Rovers and wearing suit. Want to come and talk to them. This is what. And let's get up. Never again, PVP. And I calculate in, in me life. So why are you doing with you? Bye. Who you got to forgive? How you going to say never again, PVP? And air for Nali sharing out food. You understand? Got you. No. Got you. Got you. Always what? You understand? Uh, when you tell me never again, PVP. All right. You're telling me I ain't going to get food and I ain't going to get masks. But show me who you gonna give me now. Because critic, even I myself send stuff down there, you know, and like go distribute stuff, you know, a few times. Brother. You know what I'm saying? So Brother. What I'm saying. You know what I was doing yesterday? Between 8 and 9, 11 o'clock. Driving 
true communities. I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard you earlier. Well, you know? the Mahuga Kaicho News, Glen Lal, organized must be about seven by seven, four thousand five hundred hampers. Last time we went, she you know five hundred. But the download, I know big up thing because remember, he knows how he benefits from them. The yeah, black I mean, leaders I mean, want to get without putting in. No, no, they're not even smart. And here I'm telling them. I said, but if y'all if, if y'all just call me and ask me for advice, I will tell you how the people thinking on the ground. What do you believe Glenn Lyle doing? Just feeding people alone? He's using the opportunity to give back. But if you don't keep the people alive, how you get customers? You didn't feed black people. You didn't nurture black people, but now you come and tell him black people, rise up! He ain't realize the black people don't even have the energy in them no more. You got to feed them when the belly full. You know, they got energy. And we got to fight for me right now. People are suffering. And here we take to rise up. We can't get them away. You want me to fall long? You want me to get black out? You want me to feel bad? You want me to get head swinging? You understand? A man with a Range Rover. Look at it. Let us say. Let us say it is business wise. They are not even business savvy. When we are driving and going through the communities and giving people, every time we give somebody a hamper, that is somebody will live so much more years to buy kite paper. That is why you realize these people are failures. They don't realize you have to give your supporters because they would be living so much more years to support you. And what people realize, look at what this man is talking about. The beekeeping by. That. How they raise the pay when they come in. You imagine people still remembering the thing? Five years and I don't remember it until people talk about it. You imagine they don't talk about it. It's not a big talk of the tongue. But who remembers it more? When's the last time you hear an Indian man? Indian people dealing with current affairs. What they bad? What they do now? Black people, they're there. They're wicked. They're there. No, right? Black people, they remember since the five years ago when they raised up. The, you imagine how much things black people got in their mind? If they remember the first thing this government do when they come in for six months, all I could remember with this government so far... Eh? I in area. Yeah. No, 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 no. All I really remember with them, like my memory doesn't go past the no confidence motion. Like I can't even remember what happened before. And you have their supporters coming and saying how they raise the salary. Yes, eh? I met an old man. He was supposed to have memory. When I look at him, he's supposed to like, am, I am. Thing with them old people is got when they don't got no memory. And here the man tell me, but um, I'll say was here. Here the man tell me, but when they raise the sun, I said, Jesus Christ. Like, here one now, remember he's a fighter. And these people represent people. Or even sometimes misrepresent them, right? So I hoping that they still have people to represent. So when I hear these people talking, I feel bad, I feel sorry for them. I try to ask myself, how can I help them to come back? You understand? Like you take a beating. But, eh, but I ask the same thing. And the, 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 yeah, I ask the same thing, right? The thing is, right, Critic, mm. the platform that you want right now, right? And, and, and the, the remarks that you make towards a lot of things, which is, which is like real, right? And I know political kind of situation, um, kind of rhetoric you really, you know, it's just a real thing, right? Mm. Um, now, both parties have these, uh, as I can say, black hole, right? 
Mm. Now, you as a guy, it, I, I don't even say in the middle, you as a guy like way on the side looking at everything, right? You have that vision. What's your suggestion towards a better leadership and who do you think, right, should come forth from both parties? Because I like Jackie's aggressiveness. You understand? Right? Mm. What happened? What happened in the past is bad, right? But it's aggressiveness towards business and to, to make the country move towards something is good. But, right? Well, like I said, what happened is hard to forget. Right? But, but, but if, he, if, 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 I can't even say if it didn't happen. I like the man aggressiveness, the man, like, you know what I'm saying? No, because you're being real, brother. Listen to me. You're being real. It is just like the way here. It's only the only thing I see people acting different with is politicians. People don't act like this with religion. People don't act like this with a wife. Ah. They tell the wife, girl, you get your fat. You yes, eh? The politician can get more teeth in and they still believe in them. What happened, buddy? Tell your politician like it is. Be real. You see qualities in Jagu. And there are certain things you don't like. But you respect something you don't respect, just like a friend. Man, listen to me, you like talk too much. It's a cross, whoa, whoa, whoa. But you're just my friend. We can drink together. You spend money. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me be realistic about we strengths and we weaknesses. Yes, yes, yes. And, and, and that's, and that's, and, and this is, you don't know the person. Let me tell you this. You know what I'm saying? You're the only person that's very transparent about both parties. If you like them or not, you keep it a hundred, like, yo. Brother. You hear now? Listen to me. Like everybody who is fighting for democracy now, because the fight for democracy is against a people, it makes us look like we are with the rest. All of us are looking like we PVP because it's the biggest party. And where does that information come from? The propaganda, the rhetoric come from? It comes from the PNC. So how can you believe it? When the PPP is in power, I know that because it is real. You understand? You have to say, you have to say, watch, critic is being real here, but to hell with crit I will always be a PNC or whatever, for whatever reason, whether it is for black development or whatever. But if you do not be real with yourself, here what is a problem. That I'm finding with the blacks. A man must know he's lying. Hence he know when to come out and what to do. You can't jump in the water telling yourself you're a fish. You will drown. You can't lie to yourself. And say you're a fish. Your, your lungs will not turn to gills as a result of your own lie. You understand? And that is the problem I'm having with the supporters of the PNC. They don't realize that acceptance of wrongdoing is not failure. You understand? Yeah. That doesn't mean you have failed. What do you think human development is? You got like the PPP. I went to um, St. Cotmart's mission day before yesterday. You know what PPP supporters are saying? You know what they're echoing? You have people. You have black PNC supporters. Supporting a government that is doing wrong things. Clearly in their eyes they're supporting it. Hail to President Granger. Greatest President Granger. The greatest lie ever told. You have that. And you have... PPP supporters. I talked to an Amarindian lady with an Indian husband in St. Cotmart's mission. Right? And you know what they're telling me? Critic, I hope when them people come, they'll do the same stupidness what they do. Would you believe that? Hey, laugh. They're optimistic, right? You're you listening to me? They are optimistic about a PPP rule. But they taking chance. You understand? They saying, critic, you got to hold them people accountable because this or that or the thing and they didn't listen to people and this and that. They remember the shortcomings of the PPP. Yeah, man. 
and you have PNC supporters seeing the shortcomings and supporting it. But what they do not know, you supporting the PNC shortcoming doesn't trample on our rights. It tramples on your own rights because you have now given up your rights to your leaders. You believe the PNC could have tried what they're doing if everybody wrote letters to David Grange and say here, it is clear as day. It is not a silver line behind the gray cloud. It is as bright as the sun in the sky. It is glaring what happened. You need to move on, sir. We will thrive and come again. We will continue to support you. You have to reinvent yourself. Another thing, right? The um, the it, it's too, it, as soon as the party started to speak and they start mentioning for the Indians and then the black, right? And 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 they got like this one way thing going. That's the negative. The thing is that I don't. PPP is very smart because they don't be targeting, especially in the speech. They don't be targeting. Right? Oh, black people are the Indians. No, they pull the race card. You see the race card is the last card. The race card is the last card, and that is what they did. They pulled the race card. That is just a me. Here what happened now. Let me tell you what is going on if you don't know. Um, the PNC presently and their cohorts are trying to create unrest. Right? They haven't been to Linden yesterday, Sherrod Duncan and Wanna be to Linden and doing things by Linden Waterside to make people my watch. Let me play here. Let me play uh, a clip, a voice note from a Lindener and what the Lindener think about them. Let me play for y'all. And then I want to read something. Don't come on. You got time? Don't come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen to this. Listen to this. You hear that? You might not have heard it, but it costs him too much. I can't play. Okay. The girl said they got Linden, Linden like a wasteland, like if Linden is only for vote for them. And that is how people feel. But Linden overwhelmingly vote for them. When Linden for all the years have been a very easy region to mislead. Yes, sir. No, this people's sentiments here. You don't want to hear the sentiments of me attacking people on the ground. And to be shame. And they now come. Here where they get it wrong. They are coming and asking people to muster up energy and strength that they did not give them. Yeah. Guyanese for the last five years had to fend for themselves. For the last three months, had to fend for themselves. They can't remember a day that the government have genuinely helped them. And now to come to ask them to use the little energy what they've been keeping just for survival, it is madness. You understand? It was even mad. It was madness now. They, they can't get the help there, as they see it. And then, for them to turn back and go back to the, 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 the people and that cause all the corruption, they're like, oh, this going to fight for him. I go, I go into this man, and this man can't help me. I don't want to go back to the corruption, and he's stuck in the middle. Because that's how I feel. Roger. I'm glad you know. You want to you know, and like, what we go to because that man, that man bears before, and that man, they say, slow like, like turtle, so what to do so that's why i'm asking you critic now <coughs> just people need to start voting towards a <coughs> party that got nothing to do with both of them i mean i think both parties should have an input we're a little they away from that they're on the top they're on the top right but but then again they need to have something else going because the thing is that PNC, people can be saying hey PNC, if you go in there they know what pnc go in there don't care how effed up they are or you know whatever right mm. they're not gonna they're not getting up anytime soon because of what's going on with the whole oil situation. What they do? No, but the only thing that saved them. Hold on. Once I'm not, once I'm not, once I'm not, once I'm not, 
Uh. Once money is there, right? Uh. The government will be able to give the people whatever they want, anytime they want, right? So they won't have no problem with the government. I think so, right? It's Not necessarily, you know. All they I got some African say, nations who got real isle wealth that people suffering bad by. You're, you're right. But the thing is that if you say that thing about yo, if the PNC get it right, when it go in, yo, well, you see, in no, in no way going in there. So, no, but that is why we got to lobby for inclusive governance. Just government change. We got to make sure we put in everybody so everybody's going to satisfy it. Gotcha. We got to work for the... And you got to watch them in accountability because don't forget, just like what you say, yes, they can got forgive everybody. They can also got for teeth for themselves. Like, yeah, yes, and they got so much more to teeth. So we going into different areas for a, a number of different levels. The thing is, we have prescribed to an agreement. It is called democracy. Whereas you go and you throw your carn. And you're not call no foul. You understand? And then somebody come out win. Them this a calculate no in that works up. When you see they pull the red cast a hello, but never gave it. No, 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 no. If a drug dealer organization, farm, all the drug dealers and the junkies and the tea farmer party and Guyanese vote for them and trust them more than anybody else, they have to go into power. That is how it works. You can't decide it is wrong in the sight of God and who you feel. Yes, sir. That, that's why people like, uh, like, like Pablo Escobar and them have too much power because, because of the people. Yes, if the people decide, and that is what is that's what democracy is about, come in and show yourself. Wow. You understand? Critic your stepson, mom is only oh, my, my stepson, mom. Hey, later, buddy. Later, uh, see if we talk. Cool. Roger, brother. Cool, man. Love. Yeah. So let me read about this ballot box thing. What are they misleading? Right? What are they misleading people about? So the presiding officer shall, and this is out of the um, representation of the People Act. Place the seal envelopes containing the containers. Oh shit, somebody else calling. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello. Brother, you can't listen to me and listen to the video at the same time. Hello. Talk to me. Yes, brother. Talk to me, man. Hello. Yeah, black is stupid, man. You need to do nothing wrong, but I can't handle. You guys start blocking people just based on the fact that they don't know if you use phone at them. Old man, I confused and it's stupid and I don't think that me neither. Do. So let me read this thing for you. What they should do when it comes to the box. Remember the twenty-nine boxes. One confusion create with the twenty-nine boxes about how the documents in the in the twenty-nine boxes. The, the documents. The 29 boxes were done right by the law. Although we officially thought it was, everybody thought it was a mistake. We found in the law what it stated. Hear what it says. Place the seal envelope containing the counted and rejected ballot papers in the ballot box. And secure and seal with his seal. This is what the presiding officer has to do. With the seal of such of the duty of duly appointed candidates and polling agents as desire to affix their seals to the ballot box in such manner that it can be opened and that nothing can be inserted therein or taken therefrom 
without breaking the seal and may put in separate packets the marked copies of the official list of electors or part thereof that's the OLEs where they had already supposed to die in the box only the ballots supposed to die in the box and lock Michael we're going now with the alarm system with Paul uh, Miguel who pressing the alarm system Ask Paul we're going to leave, he disarm the alarm system before start going off. Make up in separate packets the marked copies of the official list of electors or part thereof. Notices of appointment to vote as proxy and copies of the list of proxies. The poll book, the ballot paper, account and tendered ballot papers account and such other election documents as may be decided upon by the commission them documents even supposed to be in the box <laughs> them come and create a whole scenario and set the documents missing from the box the documents are missing hello hello yeah yeah good morning sir talk to I me like to make you one arrow with your statement these guys like James Bond, and so they're not leaders. They're misleaders. I never said they were leaders. I never said James Bond was leaders. I said that they're trying to portray themselves as leaders. And then I explained what the qualities of leaders are. I can't tell if they can come out and tell forces that they've won the election. And then now turn and try to discredit an election. It is, it is just mind-boggling. I think we need to call on these guys and, and let them, you know, show how is it you can go from there to now discrediting an election. My and brother? I can say what old people have said, but old people are still a liar, there's a thief, and a thief is a murderer. So I wonder to what extent they're going to stop the lying. Well, many politicians, Walter Rodney was murdered. Courtney Kwame Ring was murdered, so I don't think they got any stopping. If what you're saying is true, some people might die. I too might die out of this process for speaking the truth. We yes. talk, brother. All right. Yes, I read it for you. Now I'm going to put it up for you. The law states you don't have. Hold on. Let me plug up this. Uh, all them thing, them not check the law, them come, share a dunk on them and so make up a whole story. How the thing missing from the back. Now here I tell you, the documents have not been found. But their premise of their story was that the documents are supposed to be. Miguel, come quick. Miguel. Miguel, come collect this cup for grandfather. Come collect this cup for grand. If you can, if you love you, if you don't come, if you can, if you do something right to me, he's a real minion. Put it in the sink for grandfather. Mm, good baby, let me get a kiss. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I want a minion suit for yellow with two goggles. <laughs> no, no joke. If you can't buy Miguel, come like grandfather, see you, grandfather love you. He don't come. Miguel, come and click it. Hello? Talk to me, brother. Hello? I listen to you, brother. So you're. I listen to your program, right? Mm -hmm. So. You're saying the election is. Watch me. Yeah. You the local. So you think the election is free and fair? Um. I would ask, what evidence do you have to suggest otherwise? So where's the poll book? 
She need to you use it. I could come and tell you put fifty million dollar in UKR. Uh-huh. So where is the evidence to show that the fifty million dollar in UKR? Okay, as I sit here, brother, as I sit here, um, I tell you I'm reading from a laws that we all missed, right? And let me start. Let me start back from it. This is as law states, right? Place the seal envelopes containing the counted and rejected ballot papers in the ballot box. Hello. Yeah. You're list I'm reading from the pe representation of the People's Act. Can't open the phone, man. Make little effort to spend a little money, man. How you getting all the kids, man? I did call you up on the arm. Um... Hello. Yeah, talk to me. Roger that, roger that. You girl there back there? No, well, if you check him out, you could only call him back for the data. You got a you got a local pan is number Hello? Jesus Christ. Hello? You wanna frustrate me. Now you asked me if I send the, the, the elections was free or fair. Blow blow team got giving kicks at 2 p.m. Hey, 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 we got things for we got things to cover, plug up the thing that we got things to cover. Hold on, let me read out this thing for you. The poll books, like they premise here. Poll books are missing. Poll books are in GCOM's possession. Yeah, brother. I can't call you for this local number. This is just your WhatsApp number. Well, call me Pando and we can talk because I want you to cut out. This is a good year. Right. So I want to read out this thing for you. The story, remember they create a story. How oh, the thing missing from in the box? The thing even supposed to be in the box. No law states that it's supposed to be in the box. I'm going to read that again for you and again till you get it. Jesus Christ, man. Just call me, man. You see, there's the process, there's a man don't worry, people. No, but there's the process. You can't give them to understand what's going on. Explain to them, educate them. Oh my God. Listen. So let me read it again for you. Yes, I got you loud and clear now. You hear me? Yeah. Massive. No, we we you don't want to talk about dead people and migrants. Let me speak specifically to the ballot boxes, right? Mm -hmm. Roger. All right. Let me read this thing for you. And this is what the presiding officer shall do. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh -huh. Before you go to the right, before you go to the mm -hmm. remember. We move away from right now. No, no, we move away from nothing. How we move away from it? No, but remember, remember, you better remember they say so now that all of them we come, all becomes now, that becomes a point where not invalid no more. Right? The what is presiding officer that do or what is presiding officer. Hey man, your phone, listen to me. Don't try to put your phone on speaker phone for other people here that you're smart and so. Just hold the phone to you and let me carry on this conversation. 
Wherever you're trying to do them, mixing up the thing. Now, here we may tell you. All of that becomes null and void. What is void? What is factual? No, all right. Now, what is null and void? What is factual? Is that we now have to go back to our mention in terms of everything because every guy has to put Brother, brother, here I tell you. Listen to me, listen to me. You got, I suppose just listen to me. You got to be a straight shooter. The bullshit we you talking, I want facts. We dealing with the election and the fact of disputing its credibility. Man, your phone falling up bad. Your phone falling up bad. What going on, man? Where there? Where there? Hello. Trying to do something, you know. You excited about somebody hearing you or something like that. That's what happened most of these people. They fool themselves and they want to hear themselves. They don't really know nothing but want to hear themselves. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, giving terrible feedback there, get serious noise. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's something like a hair cutting machine. Clear. No, 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 no. Hey, man, we're there, man. We're there, we're there. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, just hold on. Just hold on. What is it, man? Yeah. So you're saying. No, no, no. Me saying nothing. Me saying nothing. You call me. You tell me what you saying. Very much so. Then you look let me tell you the honest truth. Then you will not need a pair of glasses. Or something wrong with your brain. Because with all of you, um, bullshit you find inside of the box, well, people won't even belong to a late 14, and you're telling me that that bullshit could you put you to go Slow down, brother. Slow down. Slow down. You can still, you cannot. In a Listen to me, man. Slow down, the man. Hey, watch me. Donkey a donkey, horse a horse, jackass a jackass, mule a mule. Yes, yeah, sir. Everything is what it is. You know, you just get a mule. You know, you just get a mule, man. A donkey, a donkey and a horse that sex and make a mule. You understand? But it is specific. My hey, what me tell you? You telling me. Of the, all the things you found, I want you to show me one instance of what you found. Do you know donkey and horse does make mule? Let me go through this. Well, listen, man. Listen. Mm. Listen. Right? Let me just wait. Let me just wait and, uh, and, and we'll come out from what the... Um, Brother, hey brother, me name the guy and he's critic. Me name the guy and he's confused. You call me for have a discussion. Then you tell me we wait. We wait for Christmas. I am reading the laws to you here. I am asking you for some fact. I am talking about here. Me talking about credibility of the whole election. You know, me a talk about. You cut off your gun, away gun, man. Hear that, dunk. do you know donkey a mule? You know donkey a horse have a sex for make mule? Eh? And you know the horse have a sex the donkey for make the mule? The donkey can sex the horse? And you know that? So all these things, these are fact. Or whichever way, it could be either either, but there's one way this go for make a mule. <laughs> Hey, you could get a sense. If you're a jackass, you could get a sense. You got to lower down, give a horse for sex. <laughs> yes, sir. No, now you can't get a sense. You get a shaft. You can get a horse shaft. But, your child don't come out as a mule. So your child don't be a full jackass. 
<laughs> you try to be a mule. A modified jackass with horse inside. <laughs> he called me. Right? He calling me. And confused the blood that belly we wait. We, wait we having a discussion now. Yeah? We having a discussion. <laughs> yes, a donkey or a jackass. There's a mule or a jackass. Your child got the opportunity. Don't make your child a jackass. Sex with a horse. If you're a donkey, sex with a horse. And make a mule. Yes, yeah, sir. Something a little more modified than a jackass. You know anything about Paul? Yeah. Do you know which one are mate with which one for get a mule? You know, horse and donkey does mate and get a mule. Did you know that? You know it's a mule? It doesn't look as stupid as a donkey. But it looks like a donkey with a little horse inside. And it doesn't look as sharp as a horse. Michael, you know about the mule and, and the horse, eh? Check it quick. But Paul. Check it on Google. Check it. Google it. Google it. Google it. Hold on. Let me Google it. <laughs> yeah, there's an ideal way to explain. <laughs> PNC support. <laughs> yes, you want. <laughs> ideal. You want to up, up your game? It's like sending your child. You, you, you're poor. And you send a child to be educated. They come back as a doctor. You have the sex with a horse, forget a mule. Hello? <laughs> and, where's it? Where's it? How, how, how it going? Okay, mm -hmm. so the offspring of a donkey and a horse, strictly a male donkey and a female horse. Okay, so the donkey has to mate the horse. A male donkey and a female horse ends up with a mule. So if you want to come out, of being a jackass, your family, you don't want your in your 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 your, your the jackassness in you fall to your family, your children. Mate with a horse. Yes, my brother. Good afternoon. Talk to me. Yeah, Chris. Um I want some clarification from you and the Um after the tabulation could have been made with all the discrepancies or what's that. Um, allegations, right? Who got it? Right. Who got it? Who got it? Who got it? Who got Allegations that the AP and you, AFC, are made um, as before. Who, who got it? Only a court can prove. Only a court can prove. Only a court can prove. Okay. So, in other words, the, the Jacob Chamber, she ain't got no saying in like subtracting votes and. No, 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 no. She can't deny anybody vote based on any allegation. Let me put it this way for you. You ever, you ever get yourself in problem and go court? No. Okay. When you go to court, what it is do is when there's action, if anybody is a witness, when somebody has given, at least in hey, right? If anybody is a witness in this matter, please step outside the court because they don't want you to listen to what the other person said and you come and make up your story to suit that. You understand? So here you got to ask yourself how logical it is. If GCOM is the commissioners and Claret Singh is GCOM, right? How can you ask Claret Singh for show the mistake she make and then discuss upon it? No, but it is. For me, it's not the mistake for Claret Singh make. It's the, it's the mistake for whoever makes in the electoral process like this. But you are listening. Claret Singh or, is the chairperson of what you are now saying is a flawed organization. So you, so you would want to say anything was flawed? Would you say that? You ain't listening to what I'm telling you. I have not received any evidence suggest that there were any flaws except no. As a result of the recon, it shows that Mingo bloated the list by 15,000 ghosts. So, then based on the recon. Fact. Fact. Yes, sir. I hear you. Every
every art here. It's like your brother and you got a little issue. And your brother come and say, Mommy, he lashed me in my head with a big wood. He took the big wood and lashed me. He shot it down from the top of the tree. And he lashed me and bust up my head. You understand? And your brother said, Mommy, I did not lash him. He lashed me. And when I told him I'm going to come and tell you, he said, he said, I lash him in the head. Now, here what now. Mommy said, let me see you. You say you lash him first. And, and you show mommy a brand for your hand. Remember little brother said now, how you throw wood from top of a tree, bust up the head and so. Mommy, you check the head. Not a bungi, no blood, no bruise. You understand? That is how the PNC there right now. Good. Let me go to the um, the hundred and seventy-four, sixty-two, or something. One seventy-two out of two or seven. Out of two or seven. Mm. What, what happened there? Was it um? Was it that proven that the people weren't in the country, or the one, or the ones were wrong, or something? Allegations were made that persons who were out of the country were voted for. They were made. Here, yeah, man, let me let me go through the exact process of how it happened. Those allegations were forwarded to GCOM's chairperson, the madam chairperson. She wrote a letter to the commissioner of police, who is also the chief immigration officer, asking him to find out if these two hundred and odd persons were in the country. He sent back a reply with a list of one sum to two persons, and he said. That they were out of the country. And, well, he can't know if somebody voted for them. But he was asked if they were out of the country. He said yes. So far, more than 24 persons on that 172 list have found to have never left the country that they hate. And they voted. So first thing is, the whole list of 172 come under dispute. But outside of that, do not worry with the one, the 24 people will dispute the whole list and make the list in no sense. Let us ask, we have a list. And the people were out of the country. How do you prove somebody voted for them? Simple question. What? Next simple question I want to ask. No, no, no. Maya, run fast. And we are going so fast. We need not enough question. Hold on, man. Hey, nah. No, 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 me not listen. Me don't answer one. Here we are you do. Me want. No, 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 no. Here. Remember you're asking questions. Me not dispute what you're saying. Me want. You, no, but here now. Me want you tell me if you understand when me answer your question. All right. Next question. Bring question. Let me answer. Brother, brother, here now, watch. Contrary, here now, contrary. No, no, you don't ask the question. You don't ask the question about the proof. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Contrary to what people believe, I am half black and very much love my black brothers. When you do these forging things, it, I... No, I tell you straight, it embarrasses me. Now, here now, like you understand, we could not have found. You understand, we went searching for the people based on the 172. We didn't have a 24. When they come up with the 172, we took the list of the 172 and go and check the birth certificate and go and check the name and then we go and found the person because it also had address. You understand? It is specific people. We, not me alone, small parties and so on, was working with a serial number. It is the list of the 172 that led us to the 24 who are here in the country. We just can't let, oh, find 24 persons and let them set them back by the list. We didn't have nothing before they produced a fraudulent list. We didn't know when we went looking, we didn't know that we would have find 24. 
Let you answer what We know God sends the God. Lion! Let's be James is a big lion. That's what I said. Clear. <laughs> and nobody can dispute it. <laughs> nobody listen to me. Hear what you miss. You see, I always read Peace Peace News and headlines. Hear what you miss. The police commissioner. Nobody here now. The police commissioner issued a statement after saying that they stand by their list when it was disputed. And that it is a part of a system, a computerized system, and they can't know people who left the country illegally. Right? Well, here now, how then, if the people have left illegal, how then you know that they're on the list? How then you know, got a date when they left? Or they come in illegal? You understand? So the commissioner of police didn't only lie, he perpetuated the lie and came in support of the lie. And today he didn't answer. Arthur, no, he didn't answer. You just tell me, say, so he didn't answer no more. Yes, sir. No, but if you ask me, brother, hey, I tell you, where your body, you know? I swear to you on my life, I have no cause. Here, anytime. <laughs> Let me broke it down for you. Anytime. The PPP, they give me little money, or even the money where they give, um, Mercury, PNC, the coming out with the hands in the ear. The things why you know, I don't talk about things that are irrelevant or you in asking me. If you look, if you're looking at why talk, if you look why he's talk about. If you look at the PPP man, he's go back to history and talk about the PNC and the wickedness and the days and the line. And if you look at the PNC man, he's go back. Ah, go. Me don't go away. I talking right now in lifetime. What going on now? Were you asking me? Or were you interested in? You understand? So, in me case, I that's wrong. I think that's wrong. Roger. But when I talk to the enemy, that means. You're satisfied? I'm satisfied with this. Don't worry. I would go it over you ten times because I have no other purpose. People just think it's for laugh and joke. It's not for laugh and joke. It's to ensure that you are informed. Not for you to change your side. But you must know where you stand. You mustn't jump in the water thinking you use a fish and your lungs go torn to gills because you will drown. You understand? Roger that. Talk to me, brother. Cool. It's real thing. I know it. Y'all want to ask me the questions. Come ask me. Me now. Me now. Jack John and Me now. Baffle, baffle, bluff, bluff. If me know, I say right to me, me now. I don't know. You understand what I'm telling you? I don't know. Now we're going, we going into this thing in the boxes. Ask me what they, you ask me about anything. When it reads to this election, I dare in depth. I just make sure you look up at everything. The boxes. Now let me simplify for you what I mean with the boxes. The 29 boxes were disputed and create a big problem around the boxes. By law, the only thing supposed to be in the ballot boxes is the ballots. I am not saying that worry should not be over poll books and so missing because that is for verification of, of certain things but did people cast their ballots and were there in a box yes and even the chicom chairperson realized the importance of counting those ballots that is why she made that decision hello good day talk to me brother all the time house to house. listen to me at the commencement of march the second elections the house to house registration was never completed okay. 
it was cut short because the house to house registration process was not really one originally intended on sanitizing the list so much like buying time for the PNC. You understand? Remember if GCOM had commenced on this, it would have been a lengthy process to sanitize the list. At which time they would have been able my baby able to manipulate the list, but at which time PNC was having the time to organize themselves. As a result of court matters and all these kind of things, they had to abandon it. They had to shorten that process. And we end up honestly with a bloated list. But nonetheless, persons who are dead and who have migrated the security features in the voting process in Guyana does not afford the opportunity for Reagan election at that level. You understand? Right. There is too much at play here. You can't rig the election like that. There might be other ways, but not that way. You understand? Yeah. So we have to accept what the thing was intended for. It was intended to give PNC time. If you remember, House to House was initiated by Justice Patterson, retired Justice Patterson, who was unilaterally placed at the head of GCOM. Remember, Granger the dodging all the lists, what was put forward with every credible body, and placed Judge Patterson who quickly infused a house-to-house -house registration when the need arised for time and extension to um, the PNC's time. You guys see these things and understand what's really going on in the dynamics. Not everything because they said, oh, it was for sanitize the list. Who goes sanitize the list when... GCOM has a continuous registration and sanitation process. Huh? Yes, but you have to remember GCOM has a continuous sanitation process. They're continuously supposed to be going to GPO and say how much dead people we got as of recent. You understand? You get the death certificate, you go to the list, you take off dead people. When people reach the age of 14, you get their box, you add them to the list. So you keep continuously doing that. The list is continuously sanitized. So why this hurry now to sanitize the list? It was just, it was after the no confidence motion and with the intention of biding time for the incumbent. So I hope that explains. So how the Ministry of Finance and uh, Finance and have a five weeks? Well, I can't say. I didn't hear what the president wife said, and I can tell you. No, here. I know what the president wife said, and I can tell you clearly the president wife is not the spokesperson for the Ministry of Finance. So, me don't know what she's talking about. You understand? The Minister of Finance or PR for Finance would be able to better serve um, that purpose. Well, you know, well, we can't change the past, but we can do better in the future for Guyana. Whatever government goes in Guyana, they always should do, not punishing the people of the country. I hope they do so. There's a tough, there's a tough way to tax their money and um, hold it tight and start having this country moving forward. Let me hope, sir, brother. We talk, yeah. Cool, man. Okay. Let me go to a next man losing his mind. Like Sanjeev, that he didn't say he got to come down to art. Henry Jeffrey. If I address all these issues, I would have to. Miguel, can love up grandfather now? Can let grandfather see you?
Your grandfather kissed the man and hearing you and hearing you and our grandfather thinking about loving you. Mm -hmm. Make a better country for them, by Yeah, make a better country for them. You read done. So we got in the 592 room. Remember the last time I said it's supposed to be a 6 for 9 room or a 1 for 1 room? So let me listen to Madness in its all its glory. It is now 19 hours. Miseries for us to stay physically apart from each other, for us to. It's Supreme Court, and we would have had here some serious numbers that is coming out of the prison there. Uh, almost 1,200 uh, persons would have died uh, within, the, within a one-day period in the last couple of years. And uh, I think it's over 30-something thousand deaths would have been recorded. Uh, we yes, let's get on with our, our discussion tonight, and we welcome Mr. Sanjeev Dattadin. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we say welcome to Room 592, where we unleash the truth. And we want to get right into the discussion tonight. We have two respected gentlemen who each have a yeah, background. Mr. Dr. Henry Jeffrey, as uh, many of you would know, he has been part and parcel of uh, governments from both sides of the divide. Dr. Jeffrey, if I may put it like this, he would have been part of the PPP um, government as well as previously would have been part of the former government, which would have probably been the PNCR. I'm not so sure, but I'm sure he will tell us whether it was more as a technocrat or whether it was a truly hardcore politician, sir. But I rather suspect his, his aim has always been to give technical advice and to give his services from more of a technical perspective than, hey. as, a, than, than as a... I like Bork, he's awesome. <laughs> hey, yeah, I remember that. The, the, Michael, you get the car started? No, 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 what? Don't kill up yourself. If, you can't take a run on the battery. Let's dry out. Let's dry out. <laughs> thing, the same thing we're talking about. It Don't worry, son. Daddy love you. You're just miserable. <laughs> you know, Rick Ford Bork. Make I remember Flatfoot Hustler. Remember that? Like, you know where you say the man is a Flatfoot Hustler? Rick Ford Bork is a Flatfoot Hustler with a Range Rover. Somebody sent a picture of the host to mend the Range Rover park in front. Oh, boy. He's a hustler. The man got the Range Rover in his suit just minus the mansion. <laughs> that boy, my, hey. hey, my black brother hustle, man. You got hustle. Hey, let, let me don't talk, my man. Big up here. When I come up, so mark me your role. Me your role here, Range Rover. If I ever get a visa. Yes, sir. If I ever get a visa. <laughs> Somebody sell a picture. You're a mouse. When you knock the wall, so you know your neighbor the next door, them tenement thing like you. We don't live in the house, me neighbor live in the house too. When you see the house, you know, Rick Ford, when you hear Rick Ford talk, when you see the man's shoe, the man's shiny, pointed tip shoe, that's that. It's only this, the color of the suit make you think he's a pimp. Anytime he, he, he suit get pink, he's a pimp. That's that. It's only because the suit back in you, you know, your boy exercising and to your earphone in the day and hang around people. I sure, Rick Ford, you don't keep parties at your house. You don't get space for that, everybody. <laughs> the little piece of backyard, people can't hold it. Congressman, Jeffers, let's go by you. Jeffries, let's go by you. No, you don't, you don't got parties in your backyard. Your backyard too small. <laughs> Here, I got to show you all this. No joke. This is what turned up for the man address. Could it go the, the pig and the jackass? When the pig used to laugh at the jackass telling him how stupid he is, he had to fetch his food every day and bring it to the, him. The pig, the jackass was stuck in the pig to the slaughterhouse. Pig crying, wee wee wee, jackass said to him, not we you. When I used to tell you, good living, not long <laughs> life. <laughs> he knows we're driving me. Hey critic, you get the wrong. A donkey have to sex the horse. Oh God, I don't know. Mule. 
If you want your child to be a mule and use a jackass sex a horse. Hey, I got second clip, so sang you know. If you use a jackass and you want your child to develop himself sex a horse. Don't make a gift at Santorna Calypso so you're not in it. If you're a jackass and looking for a brighter future sex a horse, you're going to end up with a mule. What's now? Sure, if this is the man, but they got a ranger over there. You get a ranger over there. The struggle is real. You don't keep on um, like, like you know, them soirees. You can't keep a soiree by you, um, Rick Ford. You never buy meet up in the park. Everybody notice that Rick Ford is always going by them. They may ask how Rick Ford don't invite them home because he got the suit in the Range Rover just minus the mansion. <laughs> hey, Rick Ford, goodbye. You go, you think, man. We got a cup, man. we got a cup, and I come up there. Rick Ford Bork, man. You got next brother, you have a second video in the car. Going to the pillow and walk. Talking loud. <laughs> big, big man. Can't sit on your piece in the house. You understand? Too much grandchildren. Why is that them cramping a the house? You can't get PC. Half the, every time you see the big man, he's in the car. Driving. My ass for the walk. It's that early. Wherever walk he's do. Yes, eh? Me? I could do very bit car, I could do very bit house. I walk, when I come over this house and I pack up my little jargy bundle, I show the people the whole house. I could show you rock back jargy chair, I got, I got the wines them there, I could show you everything. Yes, eh? And plus, the people could tell you because now I buy the big fridges. One of my followers buy the big fridge. All them things is followers buy them, yes, eh? So, me going to hide, I never tell you, I like I don't really drove, it's no big buy. I get into juicy all to me humble abode and the little minion will run around this my grandson, yes? <laughs> right? Me hiding nothing, me got a Range Rover. <laughs> yes, I got the ram when the distributor get wet up now in that start. <laughs> right? So Rick Ford, you go land by, you enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Range Rover and the suit minus the mansion. Hardcore politician. Dr. Jeffrey, Mr. Dattonin, welcome to the show. And Dr. Jeffrey, you have over the recent uh, two weeks, or uh, three weeks, I, I would say, have been articulating some views. And I want to allow you to, if you don't mind, sir, really to get those views. Yeah, the man's even articulating. You can articulate madness. You can articulate. There's no one articulate about what a man did. The man talking madness. Total lunacy. <laughs> oh, this man is so nice. Yogi is such a doctor. Yogi is so nice. Doctor, you can only imagine and envision it beating a tabla. Patang, patang, ta ta Nang tickling and nang ta ta Nang ting ting lang ta ta Art again. Tell us about it, but in the main, you are saying that these elections ought not to be declared by the chairman of GCOM, but it is one of your opinion that uh, the chairman of GCOM need to take stock and probably call in the chancellor of the judiciary and say, hey, let us start. Do you want to articulate that, Tavila? Yeah, certainly. First of all, uh, I, hi everyone. And, and just let me say that that's not really true. What okay. I said, what I said on that, uh, program with Mr. Chabral, as we were trying to explore the future, because people were exploring the future. What I said that there are there are a few things we know. We know that GCOM has to make a decision. We know that GCOM has to assess the evidence and the votes before it. And it's therefore, uh, a uh, uh, has to some, come to some, some kind of a conclusion once it has finished uh, those tasks. I have said that if, perchance, GCOM cannot declare a winner, if it feels that way, 
that they cannot declare the winner for whatever reason, but after looking at the evidence, normally, in normal situations, what happened, GCOM would make some recommendations and would, I suppose, leave the, uh, the present government in place to fulfill those recommendations for our next election. That's normally what happens when courts and things do these matter. They will say the elections are void, this, but they, at the end of the day, they will say that they'll give, make some recommendations in a month, two months, a year, for you to uh, uh, do some things, perhaps have a new house house registration, clean up the list, and move on. I said that. I would have thought that the better thing to do it would be not really to leave the uh, government in the hands of the incumbent because that would cause more problems than it would solve. If GCOMs can't come to, the, to a winner, if the better thing to do would be try to see if you can force uh, some kind of share the governance, some kind of uh, national unity governance to fulfill these tasks that you want to fulfill in that period of time. I also said that in the, it gives a break to see if people can work together and maybe in that period or two we can come to an agreement as to whether or not, uh, as to whether or not uh, uh, Shared dominance is a good thing for the future. That was my position. Not here. Sorry, sorry. Just before I ask Mr. Dr. Lin, uh, what would be his thoughts on, on that? Um, Doc, would you then be saying that uh, GCOM may have the ability to impose a shared governance if it finds that it cannot be clear? Not at all. I am saying that. It has certain leverages because obviously if, if it finds that it cannot declare a winner, it can no doubt say to both parties that look, I'm making a proposal here that we come together and or you come together and we have a government of national unity of carousel with, rather than leaving it in the hands of only the incumbent. And I suggested too that maybe you would want a neutral chairman and that neutral chairman might well be the third person in line to the country as far as I understand, which is his chancellor of the judiciary. And in those two years, if you work together well, it, it's an opening for a country that is highly divided. So I'm not about forcing anyone, because GCOM's uh, uh, position might well be, well, we, these things need to be done. If we can't come to agreement, then I'll leave it in the hands of the economy. Thank you. Sanjeev, I want to ask for your comments on, on Dr. Yes, Henry's Sanjeev. thoughts there. And to ask you First, to ask you your not opinion, or. sir, Mr. Dattadin, is does GCOM have such a, a laxity that they could uh, make such accommodation. Good afternoon, you. Good afternoon, Leonard. Henry, good to see you again. Uh, good, good evening to my beautiful wife. Um, yo, the issue is this. GCOM is a statutory body, and GCOM is obliged to comply with the, the laws that are given to them. We have seen recently, and we have been here recently, from various corners, uh, political scientists and uh, persons recommending things. But you've got to recommend things within the realm of reality. I mean, I, I have read uh, the report and I've read some of what uh, Dr. Jeffrey has said, but he's got to come back to earth. Uh, to say that you were going to get by some stroke yeah, man, let me go we had 24 of those names have been proven wrong, but you still have a substance. Remember, we were being told that nobody can vote without a... Uh, uh, no. Rune, one from West Bank and another from... Duty of anybody that is doing, that will determine the outcome of the elections, 
It is their duty to look into those allegations before it would be madness to sit there and tell me you can't do that. The job is just for competency. If that is so, well, at sometimes the law is an ass. But the point is, there must be more than an ass on this point. Uh, Sajiv? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> this is what we have to remember. We can do, we, it, it, I answer your question in two parts. One, with the corollary that we must make. Notwithstanding anything that GCOM puts in that order, GCOM cannot give to itself that which the legislation does not give. Because that is, of course, circular. You see, taking the order as the binding effect is really a bit of a misnomer. It's a non sequitur. They can't. If they've put something and arrogated to themselves any authority which the statute does not give to them, they can't give it to themselves. One. Two, Gazette in the order doesn't make it subsidiary legislation as the Attorney General, as Mr. Williams is trying to say, because that would be nonsensical. All the transport in the name of Mr. Uh, of Henry and Yoke would then be subsidiary legislation. And if you wanted, God forbid, to sell it or change the name, you have to go to Parliament and have it changed. All the mortgages that are passed would have a similar thing, and all the various trademarks that Kaichur News and Mr. Gildari you would own, all the various intellectual property rights that you have that are gazetted, you would have to go to Parliament to amend them or to change them. That is preposterous. So putting it in the Gazette doesn't make it subsidiary legislation. That's the first thing. The second thing is what the order says is based on the recom. GCOM would make a declaration. It also says that what will happen is that a report will be presented to GCOM of the, the, the votes, and the report would also be presented a summary of the observations that what are the, uh, the observation reports. But the, 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 there is a, a misnomer that is being created. A misnomer? This man is from some fancy words like that. Information yeah. to GCOM that GCOM will then be entitled to do anything other than what their statutory power is. So it is very clear some of the wording of that order, the second one especially, the second order to extend time, some of the wording is a bit unfortunate. But it is, it conveys, if you take it literally, things which GCOM cannot do. So that is indeed unfortunate. But at, if you look at the, the minutes of the meeting, the GCOM meeting, and what was really agreed, it was not, the GCOM was not attempting by the language used in the order to give itself uh, statute powers that the statute did not give to it. But we have to be aware of one thing only, Leonard. We, because of the nature of what is going on here, and because of the, the simple, I, I would say, the, the degree, the violent degree to the disagreements and the disputes that are going on, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a, a, an advancement here. The court issued Mingo was redrawn for lack of evidence. Alright, we can't get it. Listen to me. The only thing to do is to stick close to the letter of the law. Because if we try to make it up as we go along, we are going to have shouting matches where people will say what they deem to be fair and others will say what they also deem to be fair, obviously to suit their own ends. So the only thing to do yeah. is stick to the letter of the law, the exact letter of the law. Yeah. So, so Dr. Jeffrey, yes. I want to... Uh, right, 
I want to come to you on two things. First thing, what is Dr. Jeffrey's personal and professional opinion of what Mr. Mingo did on both March 3rd and 13th? Well, I have said and I've written it that Mr. Mingo has there is, I don't know about the details of how he did what he did. But at the end of the day, Mr. Mingo presented some figures that was out of work, that was, <laughs> that the recounters showed were false. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. And whatsoever must follow Mr. Mingo in terms of law will follow. So here is why I ask you that. So it is the procedures within GCOM that allowed Mingo's act to be discovered and stopped. Because everything is so transparent, because he had to use the SOPs and so forth. So here is my, here is my second question too, that is a follow up to that. During these recounts, yes. Apno AFC has been making allegations. In other words, we all know what they did, but let me just humor the viewers and listen. So Apno says, I have a hundred names to call out. They didn't give a reason for calling out the hundred names. They call out a hundred names. And then GCOM would say they're ticked or unticked. And those, if out of a hundred names, GCOM say six are ticked. Apple say, well, I have a problem with those six. Now, hold on, hold on. However, this recount was supposed to be observed by independent observers. But not one observer was allowed to observe that part, whether the tick was there or not. How do the public know that that six that were ticked Whoa, were I not didn't know that. mingled, for the lack of a better word. Let me ask you. I don't know why. Michael, yeah. come son. When PNC people making claims about this tick, the observers don't get to go and watch and see the tick with the girl saying that it's up there. The same thing with the man saying that, no? it's not only observers. We we cannot see. There's a list they call him from, right? They got everybody names. But what we didn't want, we didn't want to see the names of the person. We didn't just want to see if they said this six person tick. Let me see on the list that number 256, number 223, number 224. Because it's numbers they call him. It's numbers and the name they want to say. Is that Hear what I'm saying? Hear what I'm asking you? PNC. And G come fishing. They call it some fictitious names looking for names, right? This fishing process that G come verifying for PNC, you can't see it? Here are the things happening, right? At the start, in the box come, you have to check this. Every envelope, the check, yes, these things are in here. Now, the list to the people them, the elected vote, the people them. The, the OLE. OLE. The pink slip. Good. Do you know when you're voting? I don't know if you know. But yes. when they were voting, when the voting day, everybody had their own OLE. OLE. But now only G come that OLE with the recount. Uh -huh. Now, when they go through the right, mm. before they start, they're going to ask if anybody has any objections to this. Now, the AP and you agent will come out. He ain't got 20 numbers, or 40 numbers, or 60 numbers. Now, out of the 60 numbers, five voted. No. Five tick off. You five know where they voted. Off. They suggested off. they voted because they tick off. Tick off. Well, the five tick off. Now, G come said, we know, we can't see. Now, everybody made requests to just see the five numbers that tick off. G come <laughs> said, no way. AP and you said they're giving information Christ. to we. But here now, they could tell AP and you that this number 255, blah, 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 tick. And they could make an allegation that the person voted and were out of the jurisdiction and could have not. How voted. nobody don't realize in front of the eye is that a PNC trying to gerrymander the thing? GCOM. GCOM is doing well, the thing. Listen to me, listen to me very carefully, right? There are people in GCOM entities that are working with the PNC. So they got a man, use the supervisor, right? You supervising me station. You got a higher superior than you. No AP and it works as if the smart party or PV. Make an objection to the objection. They can't go any observation. It's only there. People and the people that migrate today can again. No. We make requests, make requests. If AP and you want something extra to, to go in the observation, 
They make they a get phone, it true. They make a phone call. They make a phone call and a coordinate guns. Yes, what is the problem? Yes, I don't see why there's no problem to put it in here. And what they put are not. They have no evidence to provide for what they put in your observation. We have every single thing. Same thing with Mingo numbers. Mingo numbers, we ask for it to be stated that Mingo made a declaration. That is not in conformity with this new declaration. Food. And the numbers do not match and they would like to put how much numbers. So like in certain place, if you get 150 extra. So we just want to put a declaration that he made at such an amount. And the, the recount shows that he put in 150 extra. That was not allowed in the observation report. Allowed, allowed. So you're saying no observations for other parties were actually put in the report. Only APNU. And the observation reports most of the times was verified by GCOM, which nobody else could have seen. They sterilize every single thing with the sterilizing. Yeah, I understand what we're saying. Michael was in there as a counting agent. You all understand what we're saying? How the fudge? Oh, we could we got to sit on the dock to somebody with this. Why is this wasn't the conversation every day outside the conference center? What was the reporters talking about? The observations and the allegations don't make no sense. If you can't even see why they were being made. You ask someone, eh? you make an allegation. Right? And when you go to the police station, you should make a report the day before. Right? Why are we talking about GCOM like GCOM is some good soul? GCOM is held by the devil and is hell. What the fudge are you doing with that? You are something, eh? These dead people. These dead people. What PNC talking about? It's only them and GCOM, nobody, nobody else. No observers, the CARICOM observers have not been able to see this tick off. So they could say it's a tick off that don't exist. Or they could tick it off if they want. They could create the tick off. You guys have a good eh? Hellaf, you imagine I did it. And there's a surprise. I was a counting agent, tabulation. I went in and didn't see me there. They're not trying nothing like that. He did day after day, worry with them. Yes, a lot of people want to know. There's no report I had a son in there. I had a son in there and a whole set of different people in there. Affiliated with different parties. So they don't want nobody to know more. And I ain't know no. Or have not been able to put it together in my head. Remember so much information you're dealing with. Now if you say. That all these dead people can't be proven. Only you. And PNC. G come and PNC saying. 